Hey, Justin. Give me a sec. What's good? How are you? In the mood for golfing? <laughs> Only when this game is on. Yo, what happened to my filters? Why am I so orange? What's going on here? Yeah. One sec. Hmm. I get. I guess I'm just orange. I'm not usually this. Look at my hand. Oh my gosh. Why am I so orange today? Real J is orange without filters. The, all my filters are on. Man, OBS has been acting weird. For some reason, I can't even get my second camera to work. But yeah. Uh, Hubo presents the list of this board too. Yeah. What's up, Arson? Hey, Justin. Uh, I'm going to charge my phone. We're at the part of the game. I just, I just, I just got, I just got bored. Uh, Jay, you can no longer say the N word. Uh, please remove black from your tags. Ah, uh, orange brother, orange flavored mother lover. But yeah, uh, how's the how's the bit rate? It says it's good, which is a first. Uh, but yeah, what's happening? homies what is good my ho so oh, i can't say that <laughs> former black tag yeah uh what, what was it michael jackson had vitiligo why is it orange oh recovering black ah fam once you go black you'll never go back i can't go back there is no back it's just black once you go black you'll always be black <laughs> Okay, how do I play this game again? It's flashlight. Oh, R1. Black in... <laughs> black in back! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, you play the game? On occasion. When the game feels like letting me play. Then I get the opportunity to. Which is so kind of them. Oh, the loud music means I'm being scene Ooh. Oh Straggler! Get the wolf How do I run again? count 70 bucks in the game allows you to play it wild i know <laughs> what are the odds of that coincidentally i looked up a few cutscenes from this game today to rewatch why boy you missed boy i missed what the how come like they have pinpoint accuracy they can 360 no scope but i need to like Carefully aim. Fuck. Just wanted to see the Joel and Ellie stuff I miss. I miss them. I know, right? Well, have you seen the new show on HBO? You know who else had a show on HBO? Uh-oh. That's not the dodge button. Spawn had a show on HBO. Oh, this isn't good. Woo! I keep thinking circles the dodge button. 
Yeah, take all that, take all that, take all that. Triangle, 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 triangle. Heal. Can I kill these people? Johnny the Snowman, ah, what? <laughs> Uh, feel like London with all the stabbing. Yeah, with Je Ellie alone, she's the single embodiment of London. Johnny the Snowman? What is that? HBO TV series? Have you ever read a book that, like, disturbed you? Did you see he leg up on that tire? <laughs> what? What? That's cheating. In the face. Bro. Whoops, how do you how do you reload again? Stand up. Who said no? them are there this is ridiculous what the physics 17 <laughs> this is just like naked gun yeah literally right in front of each other Debra! <laughs> her leg was all glitched up uh, to be on top of the tire. Oh, really? Did that happen? Not confirmed, but they have to be 100% adapting the second game into season two of the show they used uh, Take On Me in the trailer. Uh, you think they'll just do the flashbacks for season two and then make season three the, like, not flashbacks? I guess I have to stealth kill. Uh... I haven't done new photography since October last year, so I have decided to do some today, but I can't decide between using film or digital, or should I dual wield them? Dual wield them and then do side by side as the photography. Shoot both, or shoot, but uh, you know, yeah, I'll say shoot. Shoot both in portrait. That way you can put them side by side in a landscape and then do, do a cool little side by side. What about left behind, will they do that? Yeah. Left behind is the post credit scene. <laughs> I feel so weird that I'm orange. I j uh, what's going on here? They are doing Left Behind this season. Oh. Ellie's going to fall asleep and it'll be a flashback dream sequence. Really? Oh, this game. Jump! From the trailer left behind will be in the show. I don't mean to kill you, I swear. The game's making me do this. <sighs> uh, 
The showrunner in an interview said they aren't interested in filler, so they think season two would just be adapting the second game. Uh, you think the showrunner will diverge from the game a la Game of Thrones after season two? Because ain't no way HBO is going to let a successful show die. Unlikely. Also in interviews, they said they just want to adapt and change nothing, basically. Oh, God, that sounds awful. That just sounds like a bad idea. That hilarious footage was shot by local hunter Grant Connor. Not with a gun, but with a camera. That's right, Kent. I often get guns and cameras confused. One time, tragically, at a wedding. Have you guys ever seen that? I think it was a Mad TV sketch. The guy, is that like some party and it's like, I'm gonna dip my balls in it. <laughs> Simpsons quote, I see. You know, I've never watched The Simpsons. Like, I, I can't, I don't even think I've watched a single episode all the way through. Even though I don't like the second game, I think uh, to get the ages right, shoot the flashback stuff right now, wait a few years, then make the rest. Uh, yeah, it would be strange if they adapted it, like if they did the second season right away, if they're just gonna do a straight adaptation of the second game. But like I said, I th honestly think the second season, like just, just do more Joel and Ellie stuff without deviating too far from what was initially there. But I mean, like, would people be mad if they deviated from the second game? Would people be like, oh, this was not accurate, bro. They weren't accurate enough to the, my, my favorite scene. Like, do you really think that would happen? Yeah, I wondered about that as well, the age thing. Yeah, it'd be it'd be kind of hard to do. Also, did you hear that Justin Roiland's in prison? Or jail or something? Probably just jail, because you don't go to prison if you're a celebrity. Unless you're a gangster, then, yeah, you do. But, uh... uh I had a season 6 DVD of Simpsons, started with Who Shot Mr. Burns 2. Ah. It's not woke enough, bro. <laughs> you think that'd be the complaint for the people watching HBO? You think HBO people are the ones complaining about that? Uh, good. <laughs> Wait, what? Some had to, uh, some had to jail that guy for crimes against comedy. Oh, and the wife and grooming thing too. Yeah, dude, as I've said, man, uh, you already know. I could have sworn I said on stream, this is the kind of guy that, you know, you find out something weird about him and then he goes to jail. I swear I said that two years ago. Not even joking. So I, I think it's kind of hilarious. But, you know, my condolences to all the, the victims. If you're a celebrity, you mysteriously die if you go too far. Uh, yeah, if, it, once you start revealing things the public shouldn't know, you, you magically disappear. Um, my favorite case of that is, um, she didn't disappear, but, like, her career just, just vanished. Uh, Courtney Love. Because in 2005, she randomly said, uh, when she, oh, who, where? Where are they? I hate this game. This game is awful. Duck, go under. Go under. You know what? It's not that I hate the game. It's just... This game finds new ways to just be frustrating. Not in a creative way, but just, just an annoying way. It's like, here's a bunch of enemies in a game that isn't designed to handle a bunch of enemies. Oh, you want to lay down in the grass and shoot at the guy? Nah, the grass is going to block your vision because this is reality. I mean, he put a ton of incest in his show, so yeah, something definitely is up with his head. Well, yeah. I, re I really don't need the whistling in my head. She doesn't appear to be one of their group. Uh-oh. Is she a wanderer? Yeah. <laughs> 
Kelly. Right back to where we started. Hey, killer guy. What's your favorite genre of music? You want to know mine? Heavy metal! What the? How? Who? They're coming at me from like every angle. Like it's, it's how am I supposed to prepare for that? My Ellie senses were tingling. Oh, oh, rich. Woo! Batman would be prepared. She's about as prepared as Batwoman. You know how that show turned out. Look, man, I have two bullets. Alright? Some of you are gonna have to share. <laughs> Boy, bruv! Ugh. Ugh. Welcome to London, bruv! Woo! <laughs> Sidestep! <laughs> no one told me this was a character action game. <laughs> I'll take his gun, Ellie. Oh, you can't? Why can't I take his weapon? You know, that only makes sense, wouldn't it? I hear footsteps. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Whew. All right, didn't even have to use a bullet. It's good. Oh, I don't have enough paper. Ugh. I actually rewatched Futurama season one this week. Now that's a good show. It is. Hey, it's my favorite cuz Janie Jr. How are you, uh, Ramel? How you doing? Uh, don't worry. When I played Uncharted one for the first time, when I, it was remastered for the PS4, to me it seemed that they also could snip you from 800 meters away from you. Yeah, I hate that in, in any shooter. That's like, how are you getting me? I'm like miles away from you, but I can't reach you. Uh, agreed. Considering how the game is applauded for its graphics and detail, enemy models look off. Have you? Did you not see when I shot that guy and he started like <laughs> on the ground? You didn't see that. Batman would be prepared. Uh, if you can get a hold of the DVDs of Futurama Season 1 to 4, I think that their audio commentaries are some of the most entertaining ones I've heard. Really? Maybe I should invest in that. I recently bought um, the DVD set of Orphan Black, because I want to finish that show. And it's hard to get here for some reason. It's like I think it's on Crave. Oh, look, health. You know you restore health by putting the candy bars in your pocket. With an actress nearly paralyzed? Uh... Did I say Batwoman? I meant uh, Batgirl. My bad. My mistake. You know how that ended. It didn't start. <laughs> this game's so generous. Uh, if she was as prepared as Batgirl, she wouldn't even show up. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> how are you, Semi? How's... How's... How's, how's the, the dorbs? Semi-adorable. What's good? What's popping? And as I just said, I, I purchased the DVD of Black Orphan. I mean, Orphan Black. Whoops. <laughs> oh, what? The, there's more people? I thought your favorite music genre is, um, I'm a little bit country. <laughs> I, I've never, you know what my favorite country song is? Um, and this isn't, it's weird because it's not even like a country song. I don't really like country. I, I, I really do not like country music. But, um, you know, every genre has that one song that's a banger, even if you don't like it, you know? Uh, I can't lie, um... This doesn't technically count because it's also it's like country rock. Uh, Leonard Skinner's um, "Freebird" is amazing. It has one of the best guitar solos ever written. 
Just... Marsha! Oh, they didn't. They didn't yell for her. Oh, get me the fuck out of here! Oh yeah, you are not done with uh, with with this map, Jay. I know. Tatiana Maslany is black orphan. Might be <laughs> culturally insensitive. What do you mean? She's South African. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'll, I'd give her the pass. Tatiana Maslany. Don't tell Eliza. Give, give, give Eliza Dushku the N-word pass. Be like, yo, what's up, man? Be like, oh. did you hear that? Did you hear she called me? Uh, it would be cool if one NPC said, Darren, that freaked me out. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Marcus was playing um, Watch Dogs 2 the other day, and the main character of that game's name is Marcus. Uh, and I was like, dude, it feels weird, even though, like, it's his name, but it felt weird. Many fallen wolves today. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. Oh, 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 dope. 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 Go under the truck, Ellie. Yeah, man. I can't think of a video game character that has my name. That show just makes her uh, being wasted in She-Hulk even worse. I know! Watching Orphan Black, because this is uh, She-Hulk was the first time I saw Tatiana Maslany in anything. Um, uh, why can't I move? Did I, did I just... Am I stuck? Ellie, Ellie just decided to not move. Oh, are we? Oh my gosh, am I stuck? Bro. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm stuck, Step Abby. <sighs> what did Joel teach me? Remember, Eggie, anytime you get stuck underneath a truck or something, just wiggle your way out. I, I literally can't move, by the way, guys. I'm dead serious. I'm, I will show you the controller. Bingo card. Get your bingo card out. It's me holding up. Uh-oh. It's me holding right. It's me holding down. It's me rotating. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Can I... Can I... Can I... Game... Oh yeah, like that. <laughs> Don't worry, it auto saves a lot. <sighs> Do you even want to play this mess of a game? <sighs> yes, I want. Wait, yes. No, I meant yes. I want to overwrite my game. She's much more impressive in Orphan Black. She is, but yeah, uh, she all goes my first time seeing Tatiana Maslany. Oh, truck. great, wonderful. This is fair. This is fair. Oh, hey! You saved me. Uh, and then watching her in, in Orphan Black, I was like, yo! She can act. Like, very well, too. She's really good. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't hit me with your bullets or anything while I'm shanking your brother here. Come. Oh, what the... I was lurking in that stream, Donkey Stream, uh, and with with to forced perspective with Marcus to keep him in the same spot, uh, same shot made him look like small little hobbit. Small like a hobbit, I see. <laughs> uh, if you guys are down to play Left 4 Dead 2, I'm down downloading it right now. Uh, one day we'll play Left 4 Dead 2. I'd really like to play that on stream. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Oh yeah, like that, Jay. I almost there. Apparently Avengers is dead. What do you mean? Not dead no more. Update servers will stay on. Oh, you mean the game? Uh, that's why she is Emmy Award. They auto saved me under the truck. They auto saved me under the truck. Are Are you I told 
you it auto saves a lot you told me not to worry because it auto saves a lot you'll get that word right and of course because i saved while i was under the truck that's gonna that means that this is this is this is where i load <sighs> ellie just takes out a back uh pack of smokes just <sighs> probably wondering how i got here <laughs> Told you, uh, you'll get that word right eventually. Which word? Servers? Oh. Really be like this. Here, this will clear, cheer you up, love shot. The love shack. You know what's weird about this game? Austin was saying how melee feels good in this game. Uh, I strongly disagree. Melee feels like a cutscene that you happen to be mashing through. Bald head! That's what you get, bro. Let's go. Who's next? Uh-oh. Come, come. Ooh. Ooh. Side step. That should have hit me. Come, 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 come. I kill you. Be calm. May she may I find out. You'll regret this. What was that? Was this Ninja Gaiden 3? They're like, oh, don't you feel bad that, that they're begging for their life and you're about to kill them? Like, no. Weird. They were gonna kill me. <laughs> I don't regret. <laughs> she. <laughs> now where's that fucking hospital? I hate when games try to do that. It's like they were coming right at me. Why should I feel remorse for killing this person? <laughs> All right. Tajana also has a maple leaf on Canada's Walk of Fame. No way! I, I love the fact that she's Canadian. I'm, I'm calling it now. 2023 will mark the beginning of the Canadian invasion. Uh, our music will outsell the American music and our movies. Well, maybe not our movies. But something else. Our television. There you go. 2023 will mark the beginning of the Canadian invasion. I won't lead the charge, but I'll be right there. Uh, why would I feel bad about killing cult members? <laughs> no, but like, they were literally using, like, applying lethal force to get rid of you. And, and you want me to feel sad? You want me to feel like, oh, I can't, I can't kill them, they're just misunderstood. Like, they were trying to kill me. Like, if it's, like, an innocent person, then yeah, I'd feel bad. But <laughs> all they've shown me is hostility. They haven't even tried to convert me or anything. They just started shooting. Uh-oh. Nah, British actors already invaded. Oh, yeah, in movies, you're right. And in television? Okay, I'll give you that, Justin. It'll just be music then. Give, give us something, Justin. <laughs> you're, you're right. You're totally right. Everyone's British now. Yeah, I didn't feel like the dodge mechanic added any depth to this game at all, and it made me dislike it more. The dodge- what do you mean it doesn't add depth? It makes you invincible. <laughs> like, the dodge mechanic in this game makes you invincible against humans. Against zombies, not exactly. But any time- have you not noticed? Anytime there's like, someone comes at me with a weapon, like, I- I haven't been hit. Or, I have been, but that's because I didn't use the dodge button, I forgot it was there. But then it's like, oh, wait a minute, and then it, you just sidestep everything. Like, the iframes are ridiculous, where if they're swinging, like, horizontally, it'll still miss you. Even though that makes no sense. You're in the line of them, like, their attack, but n no, you're dodging, you're fine, you're safe, you're good. It's laughable, but I also, like, I don't mind. I'm okay with that, because I don't want to actually have to uh, <laughs> try <laughs> with this game. 
if you hate the feel remorse for the NPCs trying to kill you, then it won't stop it. Oh, I know. I've been warned. I know. I studied the images closely for science. Wait. She did the Walk of Fame a few months ago wearing a transparent shirt and no bra. What? <laughs> Justin. 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 Yo, look, man. All day, every day, you've been sending pictures on Twitch live about, like, oh, here's this new show, here's this new movie, even on Discord. Damn, how you go, how you go, like, just, just have this knowledge and not hook a brother up. How, how you gonna just know this? Oh, yeah, she, she, she's, she's got, she's got no bra on. She thought you'd, you'd like to know. Like to know? I'd like to see. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I watched Puss in Boots also. I'm hearing very good things about this movie. Um... I've never had anything against the Shrek franchise, but I, I, I just, it doesn't seem like a movie for me. It can be arranged. It can be arranged. That should be priority number one, bro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Same. I looked respectfully. Love you, Sammy. <laughs> also, Sammy, it's good to have you here. Let, let's talk, guys. How was your week so far? I've come to the conclusion that I myself am not a fan of my own singing voice. And uh, I'm working on a project for Black History Month. And after that, I will never sing again. I'll make more music, but I will not sing. I don't like my voice. It's so, it's so irritating. It's, it's just, it's just, I, it's just so many things I have to fix in, in like post-production. And I'm like, oh my God, I'll just re-record everything because I hate it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> Thought it was more like, aren't you weirded out by these people who seem to be uh, praying to someone before you kill them? <gasps> no. That's uh, quite common for religious people. It's just called having a religion. Maybe Ellie just doesn't know about that. Maybe gamers just don't know what religion is. It's like how I, last week I made that comment on South Park where I was like, there's this really neat episode of South Park that no, no YouTuber... Uh-oh, it's Butch the Bully! How you doing, kid? Huh? You coming to my playground and think you can lollygag around? I don't think so. Check out my hammer. It's the size of my dong. Ah, oh, how'd you miss? I missed! Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's hammer time. Ah, oh, oh, stop hitting me. Ah, oh, hammer to see ya. Whoa. Ah, oh, oh. yeah, you like that. That hoist, doesn't it? Ah, oh, giant hammer time. Ah, oh, second swipe. Ah, oh, how'd you sidestep that? Ah, oh, you killed me. No, stop! Stop! Stop shooting me! This game's racist, bro. I'm dead. I'm dead. Bang! Um. Let me hammer the point home! <laughs> Come on, that's, that's exactly what he looked like, right? It's not just me, right? Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep uh, level of iframes, yes. Where just mashing dodge, you're invincible. Um, Fear Effect is like that too, Arson. I love that game, but when Johnny and I realized that the iframes on Hana, only Hana's dodge, everyone else's dodge is, is like normal, but her dodge, you're just invincible. Uh, did I miss anything? I think we're good. What'd you think of Puss in Boots, by the way? I like the sass from the Invincible 2, <laughs> uh, Invincible 2 teaser released. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I looked respectfully. I did not. It's fun. Animation is good. Loved uh, Goldilock and the Bears. Nice. My birthday in a few weeks. Uh, cool, Ramel. Wait, what day is it? Remind me. I have a couple of stories from this week. Yeah, tell me your stories. I want to know, guys. How have you been? Gamers, don't you want... Don't you what... Don't you what religion is? Cough. Console Wars. Cough. PC Master Race. Uh, February 8th. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, you're, you're an Aquarius? How you doing? Let me hammer the point home to you. Ah, ah, stop hitting me. Look, 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 I just got, oh. Ugh. Uh, you know, use the kind of broad I'd like to nail. Oh, oh, I used the wrong side. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. I said stop politely. God. Uh 
bro. Stop making me have to use the arrow. But oh, you come on, Ellie. I blame you entirely. Ah. Okay. Uh, ro robot, robot, robotology is the only religion. Uh, Aquari gang. Yeah, true. Uh, who else is an Aquarius here? I, Jonathan, I think, is Capricorn. But anyway, what was I saying? Hey! Oh, let's go. I can use the hammer. It's hammer time, kids. <laughs> But yeah, um, also, hey, fun fact, really weird thing happened. Uh, exclamation mark, wait a minute. Oh, I do have it. Okay. Um, cloud, that cloud video, day one, got a thousand views. Or, wait, no, I had like 500 or something. And I was like, oh, okay. Alright, I'm done with YouTube. I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna like, you know, just, just never make anything again. I'm good. And now it's at 10,000. Um, so I'd like you all to know, but especially Justin, my MCU videos have done the worst on my channel. Because people who watch MCU videos don't want to see a brother politely analyzing the MCU. They want to see other people get mad at it. 11k. Oh, snap, really? That was fast. All I'm saying is, tomorrow there's going to be a voting poll for some stuff, uh, and I tried to make it even so that everyone can, there's something everyone's interested in. Maybe after I finish Orphan Black, I'll make a, I'll make a video about that. Um, Robotology is the religion, Bender joins uh, for an episode, J. Right, okay, gotcha. I, I thought, I was wondering if it was a Futurama reference. Uh, that equals true. Uh, first story, so you know that effect people have where the s they start noticing a kind of cars after they get it or something like that? Yeah, what about it? Did you get a car? Hey, what's up, Igor? Good to see you. Arson, did you get a car? I've seen that video. It's good. Thank you, Wingman. I thought you were going to say that Square Enix did a copyright strike. Nah, I know. Look, man. Only amateurs get copyright claims on their videos, all right? You think I'm an amateur? Look, I may not be, like, well, I guess I am professional. I get paid for it. A lot of money, too. You know, I was at the spa the other day. I was at the spa the other day with a friend. She insisted, let's go to the spa. Let's go to the spa. You're going to love it. Let's go to the spa. And I went to the spa. And it sucked. Um, truth be told, it wasn't that bad. The jacuzzi was great. I finally sat in a jacuzzi. It was fun. It was nice. It was very, very bubbly. But, uh, man, hot rooms. I don't get it. Like, saunas and all that? What am I supposed to be feeling? I feel nothing but, like, like, frustration. <laughs> Admires Jay's flex. I went to a sauna. Amateurs get copyright strikes. Yeah, stop. just stop being an amateur. Put on your big boy pants and edit the video properly. All you gotta do is cut your clips short. That's all you gotta do. Literally, you know that you can get away with clips that are about 10 seconds long? So what you do is cut them up so that the 10 seconds don't count as one consecutive clip, and then you can make it longer than 10 seconds. Like, just, just, big brain strat. Works every time. But that's why, Arson, you're the only Final Fantasy nerd here, like myself. Um, that's why the footage I used for Advent Children was mostly comprised of footage from the video game. Because Advent Children counts as a movie. And uh, Sony, Sony, Sony loves to swing their big dong, their magnum dong, anytime it's like, oh, you're using one of our movies? <laughs> well, I don't think so, bro. Let me stop you right there. Oh, my head's killing me. Uh, Helio Ho Ho. What's up, Igor? It's good to see you, Igor. I'm very happy to see you, my dude. Oh, I thought you were going to say, uh, uh, the MCU stuff I do want is stuff like Iron Fist, though, the stuff no one cares about. I want to do Iron Fist when Daredevil comes out. 
Justin. I will I will at least attempt that because I do want to talk about Iron Fist. I said before, like, there's some characters I genuinely want to talk about. Um, Iron Fist is one of them. Because it, it'd be another rewrite or another, like, here's what where you could go with this character. Kind of like Valkyrie. Because, like, I like Valkyrie a lot. I really like Valkyrie, both in the comics and in the MCU. I think her comic... I think both of them are kind of... They're different enough that they're kind of their own thing. Um, but I like both. I like Valkyrie. She's a cool character. I have action figures of Valkyrie, so, like, before the movie came out. So it's like... I've always thought Valkyrie's pretty cool. Uh, I like her relationship with Hulk in the comics better than the movies. They don't really touch on it in the movies, but... Um, I had a lot to say about her character, and Iron Fist is another one I have a lot to say about. Uh, if they inevitably do Ghost Rider, you know I'm doing a big video about why, like, I love Ghost Rider, and whether or not it's a good adaptation, you know, if it's a better adaptation. I have a lot to say about Ghost Rider. <laughs> Rayman video? You know, funny, Arson and I were talking about Rayman in Discord very briefly the other day. I love Rayman. Like, I, I'm a huge fan of Rayman 3, even though a lot, a lot of people say... Rayman 2 is the best one. I really like 3. Like, 3 is... 3 is, like... The tone of 3, I think, is perfect to set Rayman apart from other platformers. And 2's tone was, was just, like, really dark, but it's cartoony. But 3 is, like... It's like a Saturday morning cartoon, and every level felt like a new episode, even though it was one overarching plot. And, like, I love Rayman 3. And then the power-ups and stuff were really fun. It's another game where you have all your abilities at the beginning, and then you just get good. Unlike Rayman 2, where you get new abilities as you go on, and you know how I feel about that. Um, because then it's like, oh, gotta backtrack now. It's like, no, don't make me do that. Rayman 1 gets nom flashbacks. Rayman 1, I played, I kid you not, I have stories about Rayman 1. Because I remember loving Rayman 3 and asking someone to give me their copy of Rayman 1. Uh... Now, I will say, I'm fairly certain I did finish it, but I wanted to destroy that disc. If it wasn't my friends, I'd probably sell it. Because I, I hate Rayman 1. Oh my god. It, it's like... It's like unfair, that game. Some of the, th the things they're asking you to do have to be, like, pixel perfect. Some of the jumps in the later levels. And I just remember falling and falling and falling and just, like... Like, wondering what am I doing wrong. <laughs> then you, you look up a walkthrough and they're doing the same thing you're doing. <laughs> anyway, someone mentioned sub badges yesterday to Marcus on his stream. It seems like a good idea. Would you ever do it? If so, what would it be? Sub badges? What do you mean sub badges? You mean the thing next to your name right now? <laughs> what do you mean sub badges? Sub badges, tell me. Uh, that with the flex I was talking about. Yeah, the, the, the spa. I didn't like it though. It was so much money. Like, look, guys, I don't mind spending money as long as it's useful. As long as it's, like, worth it. I don't think the spa's worth the amount that they're charging. I really don't. I really don't! Uh, no car. No, no car. A friend of mine recently got some piercings. A very specific kind of piercing, noticeable through clothes. After she got that, I started noticing it more and more in rando on randos in the street. It's weird. A nipple piercing? Those are hot, but, like, they also kind of... It's... <sighs> Whenever you get piercings on, like, certain parts of your body, you really gotta keep them sanitized. Like, you really gotta pay attention to all that. Dead Meat complains about copyright all the time. Yeah, because, um, and, okay. Truth be told... <laughs> The reason, like, editing for Dead Meat must be a pain, because whenever James is talking and they show the footage, they have to show the scene leading up to the kill. Which usually is an extended scene, because in horror movies, it's never just, boom, you're dead. Like, that that's never the case. It's, or it's rare, at least, whenever that happens. You know, Jason's gotta chase them for a bit, you know? Or it's not fun. Freddy Krueger's gotta, you know, there's gotta be a bit of build-up before he finally explodes the kid's head, you know? Um, didn't you get claimed for some iCarly stuff? Yeah, I did. And what's funny is, Jordan and I used the exact same clip. So, it's not that I'm an amateur. Do you want to tell me what it is, Arson? Jordan and I used the exact same clip in both of our videos. 
thought you're orange. There you go, bro. You know what it is. I didn't have to say it. By the way, I've been thinking about making a, a compilation of funny scenes from Angel, or just really awesome scenes and funny scenes from Angel, um, and putting it on the VOD channel and calling it Angel is a Boring Show. Like, Angel is a Boring Show, in quotation marks. Because I hear people say that a lot. It's like, it's not. <laughs> it's a really good show. I've been re-watching Angel and Buffy um, with a friend, because uh, we both really like it. But funny thing is... Um... <laughs> Hey Phoenix, you wanna Phoenix? Phoenix, you wanna you wanna be a pal? Help me out with the safe. Um, but it's funny because Angel I've noticed like season one of Angel can be a bit of a drag. Like if you're not into detective shows, because season one of Angel is a detective show. And they were trying to be episodic, but then like the second half they realized, oh, we're not good at writing episodic TV shows, so let's just make it an overarching plot. And they go on from there. And I love that about Angel. How season one's this detective show. Season two is this like supernatural drama. Season three. Season three is like the most. Uh, season three is a character focused. Like a very character heavy. Um, like noir. I, I'd say is season three. Season four is like. Um, it's the apocalypse. So it's like. Um, what's, what's that genre called where the world's ending? That's season four. A lot of people don't like season four. I love season four. The reason people don't like season four, though, is because of something that happens to a character. And I agree, it's awful what they do to that character. It, it, it's out of character what they do with that character. Um, but thank you, Phoenix. But um, I love season four. And then season five is the best season of Buffy or Angel. Don't at me. Don't at me. Angel season five is the best. Where I... Rewatching season five of Angel... We didn't skip any episodes. Like, none of them. There wasn't a single ep- Okay, there's one episode you could probably skip. The- the Lucha Libre one. That you can- you can- You can skip that one. <laughs> but, uh, all the other episodes? Nah, top notch. No worries, mate, thank you. Uh, like, Justin, if you're gonna watch Buffy, skip Teacher's Pet. Just skip that episode, that's gonna make you hate the show. <laughs> Teacher's Pet is the worst episode of Buffy. Or like Go Fish, Teacher's Pet, and Beer Bad are the worst episodes of Buffy. Who would win between it? Yeah. <laughs> that semi, that whole scene is beautiful. Oh. So Angel, maybe you have some sort of puppet cancer? <laughs> uh Or what does Spike say to Angel or it's like Oh, is that why she enjoyed herself so much when I was giving it to her? And then Angel just grabs it like, yeah! Nah, fam. Spike, ask yourself this. Are you doing this because you believe it's your destiny? Or because you just do it- or are you just doing it to get back at me? Bit of both. <laughs> uh... Or, um, when... Sorry, I'll rechat. Just, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, enjoying myself having a conversation. I feel like I haven't spoken to anyone in a long time, even though I was just at the spa. <laughs> but, uh, when Harmony's like, Spike, oh, get off me. And he's just like, that's a lovely skirt you're wearing. <laughs> She's like, boss, permission to take a 10 minute break? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> are you saying you want to start annoying other people? <laughs> Spike and Angel are great together. I wish the show continued, Semi. I wish the show continued. Cause season five of Angel is just it's it's just everything is perfect. Just they don't they don't F anything up. Like every, every possible opportunity they're given to do a like scenario in a smart and creative way, they do. And it's like this is just amazing. One of my favorite scenes of season four is when um Thanks. Okay, hang on. I'll, I will read chat. Just give me a sec. Uh, <laughs> give me a sec. I'm talking about my favorite show. Um, I love the scene where... Um, uh, <laughs> I won't say who, but two characters that have just done the most dark thing in their respective shows meet each other on Angel. And it's like, 
oh, yeah, it's like, you you look so different. Oh, so much must have happened to you. It's like, yes, yes, truly, I've been through so much. And then the other character's like, oh, well, you know, I, I filleted a guy. Like, I ripped his skin off, like, right off of his body. And, and then the other character's like, oh, um... Wow, and then it's the, the other character's like, "Oh no, but I'm sure you've seen like such a great darkness," and, and then he's like, "No, no, it doesn't compare." <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're trying to compare how dark their lives. It's it's so funny. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> no, no, you've seen a darkness. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm a rogue demon hunter. Cool. What's a rogue demon <laughs> anyway? <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, gonna scroll up. I sent you the picture. Thank you. Didn't you get claimed for some of my Carly stuff? Yes. I had a story I think you didn't read. Oh, did I? Uh, resend it. Hey, Sticks, how are you? Sticks. How you doing, Sticks? My internet's bad right now. I'm, I tried many enter to enter the stream. I'm so sorry that the enters didn't work. Someone mentioned sub badges. What are sub badges? Uh, didn't you get claimed Rayman video? Some people are saying Ghost Rider could be this year for Halloween. That'd be awesome. Justin, you know I'm all over that. I would talk about that. Um, I do as well. I'll even, like, if I do a Ghost Rider video, I'll talk about the Nick Cage movies too. What they got right, what they got wrong. And why, like, Nick Cage is a good choice, honestly, in my opinion. I do think Nick Cage is a good choice. Um, uh, here's hoping for Keanu Reeves. I want Keanu Reeves as Ghost Rider so badly, dude. Uh, Rayman 1 is a game. I love looking at <laughs> I like watching people speedrun that game Arson. I don't know if you've seen that speedruns of Rayman 1 it's insane uh, not he, the spot the boast about being a good editor I'm not a good editor I just know how to get around YouTube's copyright that's all I'm good at I'm not a good editor I'd never say I'm a good editor I'm passable I'm not a good singer I'm like on on like good days I'm decent I'm a good music composer and I'm a good boyfriend <laughs> But none of you will ever experience the latter, so we'll stick to the music. Um, sub badge is like a loyalty thing to subs of the channel. The longer you sub, the badge changes, you know. Yeah, Igor, you have sub badges on my thing. Sub badges exist. That's what it is to your left. And they do change color. That's why some of you have different colors. Igor, yours is yellow. Arson's is blue. Yeah, they exist. Yeah, she makes a uh, cam chamomile for it every night. Uh, wait, for her nipple ring? Um, <laughs> Jack and Daxter was like that for me. Jack and Daxter was a hard game for you? Jack and Daxter? Really? Uh, I loved the background art for Rayman 1. I never finished it, and it cemented my rep with my younger brother as Rage Quitter and why I set games to easy or cheat. Rayman's just un like. Rayman 1, and it's only one. The other ones, I think, are fair. But Rayman 1 is, like... This is a kid's game? Like, I remember thinking that. Like, as a kid thinking that. This is a kid's game? Like, how? How am I supposed to beat this? I don't understand. I saw Angel Episode 1. It gets better. But I, I, I don't think Season 1 is bad. I think Season 1's fine. It's just not... What, what, Angel Season 1 is what they thought, like, they're like, here's what we want the show to be, but then they quickly realized that Angel works better if you put him in an ensemble cast, and then they, they do that, and then it's a better show. And Angel is a good character, like, I, I really do think they do a lot with this character, a lot more than he ever did on Buffy. And I like Buffy too, but, like, Angel, Angel reaches to my, like, the depths of my soul with what they do with its characters, and I think I've mentioned, like, Semi-Adorable will back me up on this, but, um... Angel, um, starts as a show about co-workers that become family members, but then Buffy is a show about, like, family members that become co-workers. Where Semi-Adorable said it best, where she's like, I swear, by season seven of Buffy, they all hate each other, but they don't want to say it. It's like, yeah, it feels that way. <laughs> where Angel, flat out, um, there's one beautiful scene where um, I think Cordelia goes to the hospital, and when Angel shows up, the doctor's like, are you her boyfriend? And he's like, no, I'm family. And then he goes and helps her out. It's like, that? J quick quick scene like that. Quick scene like that. And it's like, that's amazing. See, but Buffy would do a whole episode about that. Illustrating why, oh yeah, we're family. We're very close. And, and it's a very special episode of Buffy where... Um, 
this character, uh, their family shows up. You know the episode sent me. <laughs> but Angel just has that one line and you instantly get it. And he's like in a rush and it's like, yeah, nice. Uh, who would win in, in, in between the caveman and the astronaut? Uh, no worries, man, thank you. Why would you skip a wrestling episode? It's not about wrestling, that's why. If it was, it'd be cool, Igor. But it, it, it's just, it's... <sighs> Anytime Buffy or Angel try to do anything cultural, it fails. Just, just understand that. They're not good at that, at writing that. I think the closest they come to is Gunn's character, because Gunn, he's the only black character that's, that, like, lasts for more than one episode <laughs> in either show. Uh, or I should say more than one season, but, like, I, I love Gunn. He's a black character written well. In, in the these series. Can't rewrite perfection. <laughs> okay. Hey, I like Teacher's Pet. It was stupid. Arson, you're gonna love Buffy. I can already tell you're gonna love this show. It's actually really good. Um, Spike and Angel are great together. They are. I didn't like the one where she uh, lost her memory. Uh, who? Also, no spoilers. Add. It's not added. Signs, size, and added Angel to wish list. Watch list. You gotta watch Buffy first. I mean, you don't have to. Angel does work on its own, but it you don't get as big of an impact without watching Buffy. For, for season one, especially. Later on, they kind of just do their own thing. Um, are you saying you want to start annoying other people? Nice hoodie. If you have a black or white version of it, I would buy it. Oh, we do! Um, exclamation mark merch, Igor. Uh, every hoodie and every outfit you see me wear comes in multiple colors. I would never just stick to one color, because you know how, like I love colors. Like I, I will wear the most colorful thing in real life. But um, I know people like black and gray and white. So yeah, it's always, every color option should be there for every outfit. If you don't see it, then let me know and I can fix that for you. Reposting because it seems like you didn't read. Yesterday I got locked in at work for five minutes because the person who locked up for the day thought I had left. Oh, that sucks. Did you, how'd you get out? Did you call them? Remember that episode where Gun was peeing on everything? Yep. <laughs> Context matters, yo, but... Oh my gosh, Angel is so good. Angel's such a good show. She's playing PS Vita. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. Xander turned into the demon one episode. The hyena one. No spoilers. I'm a 10th level vice president. I hope Nick Cage comes back for Secret Wars. I guess he could, huh? She's somewhere in there. Way to ruin my fantasies. Oh, the, the, the teacher? <laughs> Teacher's pet? If I want to know about the Geniac boyfriend experience, you just need to ask Victoria about her. <laughs> about it. Stop. She'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> nah, fam. Jay and I already agreed to a platonic marriage if it comes down to it. Oh, but look. Oh, she's playing Hotline Miami. Look, kid, I'm going to do you a favor real quick. Oh. Did you know the PS Vita's bulletproof? Um, Semi, look, look, you already know, we already know. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes the house just gets cold and lonely. <laughs> But yeah, um, we talk about, we talk a lot about Marvel here. Do you have any plans to do a video about a DC character story? Blackfire. Blackfire is the only DC character I'm, I would consider doing a video on. I have a whole idea for a movie. It'd be kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy, but it would be almost the reverse. Um, and Blackfire would be the leader of her ragtag bunch of misfits. Taxi Cabby would be the, the pilot. Um, Freefall from Gen 13, a character no one talks about. Freefall would be part of the team. She'd be a human that's pretending to be an alien. Um, and her power is gravity, which would be fun to do for a space-themed adventure. But literally the whole plot would be she's trying to create the new Tamaran. She goes to different planets and, like, destroys species and civilizations to do it. And, like, her morality is brought into question. Starfire tries to stop her. The police get involved. You know, they get arrested, and for the final act, it becomes The Raid 2. You know, that big action scene in the prison? That's what the final act would be, her breaking out of prison and realizing that perhaps the family that she desires uh, was the one that she um, had already. But she doesn't learn this lesson until it's much too late. 
Also, spoilers for my movie idea. Um, she would create the new Tamaran, but at the expense of her friends' lives. So she gets what she wants, but there's a consequence to it. Because I, I think Blackfire is the kind of character you can write a bittersweet ending. And it would kind of work, and then you can take her character. If, 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 if I were to make a sequel, I'd have it all take place on Earth. Where, um... Hammer time! I probably should have stealth killed him. That uh, was not a smart idea, not my best idea. We're gonna go with it. Get around her! Get around her! Rounder, I hardly know her. Oh, grenade! Drop through the heart! Okay. This isn't looking good for Eggy. Uh oh. Oh, there's dogs! He's been a bad boy. Live sunshine, 109 in the sky, but the pigs won't quit. You're here with me, Dr. Death Defy. I'll be your surgeon, your proctor, your helicopter. Pumping out the slotomatic sounds to keep you live. A system failure for the masses, antimatter for the master plan. Louder than. Uh, uh. This one's for all you rock and rollers, all you crash queens and motor babies. Listen up. The future is bulletproof, the aftermath, the secondary. It's time to do it now and do it loud. Kill joys, make some noise. Any MCR fans? Oh, my shot is so bad. It was all a dream. Ugh. Uh... A CW Titans rewrite video would be neat. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> Can't rewrite perfection. <laughs> Wait, what? I would never do... I wouldn't even attempt that. There's so... The first thing i do if I was going to rewrite Titans is get rid of half the cast. Because... <laughs> you know what? Do we need Superboy? Do we need Superboy? Uh, I had to DM another team leader at another location uh, to get them to contact the, the person who left and they came back. Oh, jeez. That sucks, dude. Still the Vita Ellie. Yeah, maybe we could sell it back for all it's worth. All $10. Moral of the story, playing Vita gets you killed. Yeah, of course. It's an open marriage, obviously. I know, but... You know, you know. Who am I going to watch Orphan Black with? Huh? Um, Blackfire? Blackfire from... She's, I guess, Teen Titans? Uh, I think Nick Cage coming back would be a good change. I feel like all those 2000s casts will be back in some capacity. Feige has been involved uh, since back then, and this way it can be one huge farewell to the lot of it. I'd love to see Ben Affleck as Daredevil, but he's acting like DC's Batman. That'd be kind of hilarious. Give him a leather suit, too. Like, big, jacked, burly Ben Affleck in a leather, <laughs> leather suit for Daredevil. And he stands next to Charlie Cox. Is that how it's spelled? Uh, how what's spelled? Nope. Funny thing, Puss in Boots 2 has this family plot with some characters. Uh, which family plot? Oh, Blackfire? Uh, no, it's B-L-A-C-K-F-I-R-E. She's never had a solo comic, and that's why, that's even more reason I'd want to give her a movie. Because I, I could think of so many stories with Blackfire. Goes but but cut cut cut. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot them. I don't think you saw it. I have Frey and two Orphan Black comics on the way. Oh Frey, okay. Have you ever read Frey? I I have Frey. I have the Frey comic. It's pretty good. Let me know how the Orphan Black comics are. Honestly, I think Frey is the best Buffy comic, funny enough. And, and like, Buffy's not even in it. Um, and then, I t I've said before, Angel After the Fall is the best...
comic book in the entire franchise. I think it's the it's literally season six of Angel. Like everything feels the same. And I looked it up. Apparently, um, it is based on the scripts for season six that never got made. Why do they have pinpoint accuracy? Chopper, sick balls. How many knife? I dodged that bullet. I see chakra points. Okay, hang on. Oh, I dodged the bullet, bro. Curve the... <laughs> Did I? Did I go in the grass? How did he not see me? Did he really not die? Really? Move in! She's empty! <sighs> I just want this to be over with so I can read chat. Where'd she go? Don't let her Aggie. in. Aggie. Remember what I taught you. Ugh. Shoot first. Ask questions later. Like, okay. This game just puts you in rooms full of people. And then it's like, alright, kill all of them. It's like... Uh, uh. Remember when there were zombies in this game? <laughs> is the person.
What? 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 God. Yes, reload. Reload now. Oh, you're dead. This is not that engaging a stream, I know. And yet you're still here. Wild. It's almost like if I don't talk to you, you don't magically disappear, Arson. Anyway, uh, you know what this game needs? Being able to pick up more ammo from enemies if they haven't shot their guns. I agree. It's always just like, here's one bullet. Enters new map with maybe 20 people in it. Kills the first uh, person. All of them know where you are. Size. Puts the controller down. Jay had a bone to pick with that person. <laughs> that's that's all. But I'm just, I, I was listening to Sir Mix a lot on on the way to work, outstanding experience. Yeah, it's funny, you mentioned before not having listened to a lot of old rap and R&B, correct? There's a few people I'd like to make like a playlist for you for to see what you think of. Yes, uh, if we don't have Superboy, we don't have the cute romance between him and Blackfire. No, we don't need that. Blackfire marries Girdle Sletch, okay? Young Justice did it better. I agree. Did you just insult me? What? No. <laughs> what about have you read Frey before? <laughs> I guess you have. Old uh, Grizzle Daredevil kind of like uh, how he's looking in the comics right now. That'd be cool. Uh, I haven't yet. You haven't read Frey yet? Gave that colonoscopy from the outside. <laughs> Imagine Janiac analyzing Tom and Jerry. Uh, no, leave that to all the millions of other cartoon a analysts out there. I imagine those 1950s YouTubers would have been m mad <laughs> for Tom and Jerry's owner being a black working class woman. Is she portrayed negatively? Jay, why do they uh, have pinpoint accuracy, Neil Druckmann? Because it's not an FPS, Jay. It's survival stealth. I will punish you for playing it and making it feel like a slog and just fall back on it. <laughs> Was thematically resonant. Uh-huh. Sorry, I got carried away. It's funny because it's like, it's not even realistic. Like, you're telling me all of them are marksmen's, just like amazing marksmen's, and uh, like Ellie's just a one-woman army that's able to take them all down? Would Pedro Pascal's Joel abridged be different from the OG Joel abridged you did back? Oh, Igor, I should do that. I should do a dub. Oh my gosh, Igor? Can someone message me that on Discord? Like, make a make a fan dub, the, the boomer Joel? <laughs> and like, like, keep all of Ellie's lines the same, but to just dub over, <laughs> dub over Joel's. <laughs> Uh, I need to, I need to, I need to watch the episode and just, just, <laughs> that's a problem with this generation, Ellie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now I want my skeleton to scream, Aggie, <laughs> in season two. <laughs> he has more views. Uh, the Tom and, what? Tom and Jerry? Eh. Daredevil and, and Batman do have some similarities. Literally, uh, Chip Zdarsky, who is the writer of the current Daredevil run, is also the current writer on Batman main runs at DC, too. Uh, they do have a lot in common. Um, Daredevil's cooler, though. <laughs> it's the big map. So you may have to pause to read chat. It's cool. Don't worry about it. It's not that, not that engaging a stream. I believe you can skip most of the combat areas if you know where to go. You can go through most of the game without killing humans. Yeah, but it's slow. Like, you... you you can go through most of the game without killing humans, yes, but it requires you to do stealth and like just crawl, crawl on the ground, wait for them to walk by you, crawl on the ground, wait for them to walk by you, and it's just a drag. Like, it's not gameplay. <laughs> the Orphan Black comics are good. One is honestly just a depiction of season one. Uh, Orphan Black Deviations explores what would happen if things at the train station went differently. And Orphan Black Helsinki tells the backstory of one character you meet in season four. Okay. You insulted me by asking who who you'd watch Orphan Black with Imagine Rage Helmet here. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, it's like, yeah, it's an open marriage and stuff, but I can't watch Orphan Black with all the others. I can only do it with you. Look, this is a TV show marriage. Uh, I almost said Saints Flow. Holy jeez. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Semi adorable. You've been away so long, I started calling you Saints Flow. Okay? Just because it's an open marriage doesn't mean it has to be an unhealthy one. <laughs> okay, Sammy. Jeez. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one trying. <laughs> Boom! Oh, oh. 
reloading. Mila! Jovovich? How do I reload? Remember, Eki, you can shrug off bullets. Just like your old man. Don't let off! Go to bed! Go to bed! I caught her! Right here! Anyone else? <sighs> You're saying I have to put in effort? <laughs> That's what we agreed to. In in sickness and in health. Both of you gonna do effort. That, that, that was in the vows, I'm fairly certain. Uh, wait, Saints Flow to arrive in chat? Come, come on, I know, I'm telling. Uh, and I flipping love this game, by the way, but yeah, there's some areas that are unfair. It... <sighs> you know what makes it unfair? It's not that there's a bunch of enemies. It's that you suck. Like, I've said this before. Like, I like games that, you know, I'm super powerful, but so are the enemies. That's fun to me. And, like, it can be challenging, because then you have, like, multiple enemies that are super powerful. But so am I, so it never feels like, oh... Isn't it, isn't it empowering to be this weak loser that's able to take down these big th uh, foes? It's like, no. No, it's not. <laughs> you know why? Because you'd probably die a bunch of times, so you love Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden's really cool. Honestly, Arson, I was trying to talk Marcus into playing Ninja Gaiden on his stream. Because um, he's like, is 3 the good one? I'm like, no, no, 3's no. Don't, don't play Ninja Gaiden 3. <laughs> don't play that one. But um, Ninja Gaiden's really good. Um... Uh, it it's it's annoying and irritating how difficult it is, but it's fair. At no point do I think this is impossible. There's never a moment in that game that I'm like, I can't do this. It's like, no, I just have to play smart, right? And it's not by avoiding things, because you can't really avoid things in that game. You have to fight them. But, yeah, it it's all about precision. That's, that's what I really like about Ninja Gaiden. Um, where Devil May Cry is all about style, Bayonetta is all about... Um, I guess it, it's also about style, but it's, it's like how you mix styles is Bayonetta's thing. Ninja Gaiden's all about precision. You, you have one weapon that does very, or you have like, well, it depends which Ninja Gaiden you play. But you got like a few weapons that have very basic attacks, and then you have to find ways, like situations that that is like uh, that optimizes each of those moves. And I really dig that about Ninja Gaiden. I can go on and on about why those games are really good. Um, just character action games in general, but, uh, this isn't a case. I, I looked up if there was a mod for Devil May Cry, uh, 5 with Joel in it, or Ellie, because I'd love to play that, and then, like, Virgil's Abbey, that'd be hilarious. Hey, Lady Soja, how are you? Crouch strat, crouch strat, yeah, just, just crouch the whole way. I must have smoked before because I don't remember agreeing to this. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> what's, what's the, the priest? I'm like, look, sir, she is high right now. <laughs> you can't expect her to agree. If you were just like, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> About 60 more people just over that door. Uh-huh, arson. <laughs> you can shrug off bullets, but you can't shrug off the pain of bad gameplay. All right, so second story is that I'm making an effort to get with a girl in my class currently. I'll keep you posted should something ever happen. Dude, I'm so happy for you, Arson. It's about time. It's about time my boy Arson started dating again. Get back in the game, man. 
I know I know your ex was awesome and everything and you loved her and you appreciated her and as always by me, but you know. There's there's just because you had that love doesn't mean you can't have another love. You know, after the breakup. Don't cheat on people, guys. That's bad. That's evil. Dead serious, too. That's not me being sarcastic. Cheating is evil. Don't cheat on anyone. Alright? If you're not happy in your relationship, break up with them. Or try to figure out why you're not happy. <laughs> Don't just jump to conclusions. Uh, Alright. Uh, Eggy. Our antagonist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Our me can't spiel. I see. Uh, I found a way to solve knife crime. Kill Ellie. She's responsible to 100% of it. Yeah, clearly. Uh, thank you for the stretch and the hydrate, Lady Soja. Ugh. Ugh. Crowd strat. Hi. Black is amazing. Thanks, bro. Sometimes I have to tell myself that in the mirror because, you know, we be facing some prejudice these days, you know? Black History Month's coming up, so it's so nice of you to just say black is awesome, like, or amazing. I appreciate that, Arson. Respect, bro. <laughs> I know you mean Ninja Gaiden Black. Hey, it's been forever. Ninja Gaiden was one of the very first games I've played. Really? What'd you think of it? Which one? The NES one? It has XD. Abby's gameplay is so much more fun uh, because you're a buff lady that can make a hole in people's faces with fists. Yes, I agree. Abby's gameplay is the most fun. Look for the light. How are you, Austin? Hi again. Yo, Jonathan. Heyo, wingman. Igor. Everybody's here. Your grace. Your grace. That Kazuna drop move is never not satisfying. I know. It, it's the coolest move in the game, and it does a lot of damage. Uh, but it doesn't feel cheap. Like, you have to get them into a scenario where you can use it. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Triple H way of marrying someone. Soja was poppin'. How are you, Lady Soja? Soj Matoj. Lady Soj. Dodging bullets, dodging bullets. So you can dodge bullets in this game. Did I just shoot the wall? Whoops. I meant to reload. How do you do that again? Looks around for Saints Flow. Come on. <laughs> Doom has monster uh, closets. This game has clown cars of people. <laughs> yeah, they just roll out like that. Hey, only thing I loved more than her is the feeling of loving, and I want that feeling again. So, oh, Arson, you're such a, like, romance, romantic dude. Oh, well, consequences of smoking from, from sun up to sundown, I guess. Semi adorable. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this band, Sublime. They did a cover of Smoke Two Joints by uh, The Toys. Um, have you ever heard that song, Smoke Two Joints? I think you'd think it's a funny song. It's a fun song. It's it's funny. Like, I remember talking to Marcus about this. So I don't smoke weed. Like, I've never smoked weed, and I have no intentions of smoking anything. I don't, I don't, that's not me, you know? Um, but why, how come stoners make, like, such good music? Like, what's going on there? <laughs> Do, uh, look for the light. Sega! Looks around for St. Slow. Come on. Sorry, just got home. At, was at Lily's. How, how's it going? First thing I hear about when I join is Triple H and saying, I know, right? It's like, it's like we were waiting for you. And here I was thinking that I was going to make a wrestling joke with Austin. Not here. 
LOL. If you think this is a slog, I tried stealthing through every section of the game. How long did that take? Uh, you said tried, so I guess you didn't succeed. Semi is here, bro. Nice. Glad to have her in chat. I know, Semi Adorable, how are you? I have... You have? Of course you have. We need to we need to trade CDs again, Semi. Or playlists, mixtapes. <laughs> Show me that mixtape, Semi Adorable. You guys know she can sing. Did you know that? She's actually really good at singing. Uh, good news, too. Apparently Venom 3 will be filming summer of this year. Oh, snap. Does that mean we might get Venom 3 next year, bro? What now? Uh, is Square reload? Square is hit. Uh, I tried R1. Oh, wait. It's R2 when you're not aiming. That's what it is. I, I remembered, like, right away. I gave a reason for Jay to watch the HBO series. A Boomer Joel fan dub. Oh, it's gonna happen, Igor. If I can get, like, an HD rip of that show, I will actually dub one of the scenes. And I know which scene it would be. When they're in the house and Joel's on the couch. Joel, we need to figure things out. Ah, figure things out. You want me to do all the work. Typical. Typical youngins wanting the old man to do all the work. You know, Aggie, when I was your age, I was out there figuring things out myself. Now here we are. Yeah, yeah. oh, I could easily, I would totally do it. Lose the glasses? Oh, why would you do this to me? Look how orange I am. Yo, listen up, here's a story about a little guy that lives in the orange world. Put on Let Me Be The One by Mint Condition. Let me be the one. You keep reaching to, like, the depths of my brain. 32 hours. That was my runtime of the game, I think, 32? It was between 30 and 40, jeez. No, she can't. Uh, no, who can't? Oh, yeah, you can sing. She can sing. I have no idea what loss is, Eggy. You have no idea what loss is, Eggy. Hang on. Ugh. Ugh. Hello? Hey, I'm streaming right now. Yeah, do you want to say hi to everyone? Huh? No, you say hi. Hang on. Say, say hi. Hey, what's up, everyone? How's it going? <laughs> Guys, this is Hannah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take you off speaker. Yeah, uh, is it cool if I talk to you, like, tomorrow or something? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Take care, alright? Yeah. Alright. Bye. Yeah. She's all the way. She's all the way! She's, like, by plane? I think she's four hours away. But, like, by car, it would take forever. But, uh... Maybe we'll have another Hannah stream again. Sucks that I finished Resident Evil without her, but she watched the VOD, and she said that game gets scarier, and I'm like, right? Nice ringtone. Yeah, that's from No More Heroes. Uh, no More Heroes 2. Posture check, thank you. I'm pumped for episode 2, I'm glad. It's crazy how people are saying, like, yo, man, this is gonna be the, the, greatest, t the greatest video game adaptation ever. There's only one episode out. Like, calm down. <laughs> like, the episode is good. It's a very good adaptation, but, like, calm down. <laughs> it's one episode. You, Nora? The greatest thing since sliced bread. Jesus Jesus has come back again, and he legally changed his middle name to Henry. <laughs> uh, I'm pumped for episode two. Ringtone. Nice ringtone. Hey, Wednesday Adams emote. I love that emote. That was fun making it. Hello, hey, who dat? OMG, Hannah, hey. It came to my mind when talking about uh, romance. Hi, Hannah, what's up? Marvel recently removed the concept art lineup for Thunderbolts, and there's multiple rumors saying Ghost will no longer be a part of the team. We'll get her own project. We'll give her her own project. That way I don't have to watch the Thunderbolts. Um, something in the main MC that you might like. Yeah, the Thunderbolts is such a dumb idea. Ghost is the best. I love her. I want her back. Bring back the actress. Great adaptation. That's how you adapt a character, because Ghost in the comics is boring. I remember when um, Igor was like, yo, man, the new Namor is so much better than the original Namor because the original Namor is boring. And I'm just like, tell me you've never read a comic book without telling me you've never read a comic book. Namor has never been a boring character. He's actually very funny in the comics. And then he's like, yo, man, Namor's name is so cool. He's the child without love. Uh, my Latina... Not girlfriend. 
straight up said to me, yo, you know that? That's not what that means, right? I'm like, what? She's like, it's not Namor. It, it, that'd be the equivalent of saying does not like or uninterested. I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, it's not. <laughs> so Spanish speakers find that quite cringe, actually. The, the renaming of Namor. Namor. Like, uh... <laughs> that killed me. That made it even funnier to me. The fact that it doesn't really translate well in Spanish. <laughs> Namor, the biggest D-head in the sea. What's not interesting about that? Yeah. He sees something he likes, he's like, well, it's mine now. <laughs> he's like, he's like Zeus. Not as powerful as Zeus, but he's like Zeus. <laughs> if you're familiar with Greek mythology. Why is your UI is yellow? Because it's easy to see yellow across every color in this game. There's always gray, brown, and then green. And you'll notice yellow is visible on all three of those. Um, that's why. Who's Zeus? Uh, the god in Greek mythology. The lowercase g god. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, she got a cool vibe. Hannah? Hannah's awesome. Look, there's friends I have that will be my friends forever. Okay? Oh, Let me tell know. you. It's Marcus... Johnny, Mac, Hannah, Shanita, Tavon, Travon, and Kyle. Anyone else that I hang out with, that, that's eight people, but anyone else that I hang out with uh, is either already related to me. So, like, Leslie and Chelsea, they usually tag along, too. They're my cousins, though. So, like, they are my friends, but they're my cousins. They're blood, you know? Um, and then, uh, who am I forgetting? Am I forgetting anybody? But Hannah, Hannah's definitely, Hannah's up there. Uh, B, if you guys remember B, Austin probably, Austin and Igor might remember B. Um, B said that Hannah is uh, Junior's friend number one, and Marcus is number two. Uh, most reviews I've seen said it's a good start. Uh, yeah, I've heard it's a good, I've heard nothing but good about the show, and I'm, I'm glad it's doing well. Um, I will watch it. I've decided I will watch it. Um... I may not follow it weekly, I might just wait till three episodes are out so I can just do a three hour watch. Like it's a movie or something. Um, Nora listens to Ice Cube, nice. Oh really? What? That's why I was saying it's it's good news, Ghost Solo Project. Oh I know, I, I get it Justin. That is good news. I'm listening. Even I knew this, I don't read comics. A Namor is one of the first comic characters from Marvel if I remember correctly. Yeah, him and um, the Human Torch. Those two, the Submariner and the Human Torch. Namor, uh, Katana? What does that mean? It means Japanese sword. <laughs> Comics? Anime? Who's Zeus? You're not from the ocean. Just die. Yeah, literally. <laughs> You're not me. Die. Like, that's Namor's philosophy. <laughs> and he's so, like, he's so, like, full of himself about it. Like, he's, he's so into himself. When he says Imperior, Imperious Rex, he's kissing his muscles. Alright? But in the movie, it's like, he just says it, because... <laughs> Don't scream. Put that shit down. Eggy. Will we be getting guests on the future on the podcast on the future to tell more stories? Jordan Fringe. We've been talking to Jordan Fringe about it, where he's like flat out, I'd love to. And I'm like, that'd be great, we just gotta figure out how to record it. That's all. But I would love to do um even maybe one what guest. Maybe we can get Shiloh. Um Abby but, was here earlier. Yeah. That'd be that'd be fine. That'd be fun. Where'd she go? But all the guests have to be more famous than us. We're not we're not going down. Okay, we're not descending. She... That's just dumb. You want guests that people know. <laughs> You'll still be dead. I like Ellie's tattoo, Tell by the way. I see what you guys mean. It looks really cool. Uh, the the good god of thunder, Zeus. Oh, you mean Thor? No, Thor's the good one. Maybe you should just eat the fuck out of Jackson. Actually, I guess based on North, Norse mythology, Where's Abby? would you say he is? I remember them, yeah. You, oh, you remember my? Close. You remember B? Yeah. I haven't hung out with you guys since we were kids. Man's grew a full beard. It's shaved now, though. Well, Ramel. Ramel was so Ramel's Marcus's cousin. We yeah. used to hang out when we were like. Yeah, that little bitch got what he deserved. Cause Dion, like. Their aunt babysat me. Alright, time to sprint. And then someone's gonna shoot at me, and then I won't be able to keep running. Then I'm gonna have to do some hiding. Is that what I have to do? Is that what this game's gonna do? 
Fight just like Joel taught me. Cardio, cardio, cardio. Cardio. I was fast enough. That should have counted. Yep, here it is, here it is, here it is. I called it. I freaking called it. Ah, oh, this game is so predictable. How many people were there? Three? Keep running. Okay. Did it just... Oh. Okay. I thought the game thought I died. <laughs> she got away. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, but this is scripted. It's scripted. She got away. Thank you. <laughs> I was ready to break this game in half. Oh, and I don't even have a disc. Okay, let me let me catch up real quick. Uh, I remember them, yeah. I haven't hung out with you guys. It's been a while, Ramel, since I've even seen your face. But, uh, you introduced me to rap music, my dude. The good rap. Uh, three hour watch, the first episode's one hour twenty. Jeez, that long? Okay, whatever, I guess. At least it's good. Joe, Sam Salter, Drew Hill, Tyrese, uh, Bobby Brown solo album, Red Man, Run DMC, Eric B. Eric Banna? <laughs> Eric B. There's a rapper named David Banner. Anyway, a Ram Kim Ice Tea. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get Bobby Brown <laughs> on the podcast. It was a good day. It was playing before Nora was listening. Who's Nora? Um, the Android version of the Human Torch. Yeah, the the robot Human Torch. Uh, can you pay for a sub for a month but not have it repeat? I don't consistently have enough. Send me adorable. Look, look, look. I should have noticed when you said earlier. All right. Look, I know it's an open marriage, but you really think I'm going to let my wifey just be suffering out here? Anyway, I know it'd be sin more, sin more, but in it, I get his feeling on it. I'm an apologist. I know you are. <laughs> no, you're not an apologist. <laughs> you're, you're delusional. I haven't seen Marcus in like two years. I haven't seen you in like 13 years, Ramel. It's been that long. Uh, I was excited for Black Panther 2 just for Namor. It was such a letdown. I liked his costume. He looked cool. Namor looked cool, and they didn't chicken out with the, the, the wings on his feet. So you know what? I'll give them points for that. I love his outfit. I love what they did with his outfit. They didn't give his underwear a bunch of lines, Justin. You know, the, the MCU loves just putting lines on everything. Oops. Wait. Where, where do I go? Oh. Did she slow down for me? Got you. Come on, Ellie. You've beaten people twice her size. Ellie, 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 Ellie. You've beaten people twice her size. Really, Ellie? How are you? How are you gonna fight Abby if you can't even take this girl? Like, bro. You've seen. You fought. You saw me beat up Jackhammer Jack. Giant Hammer Jack. Remember that guy? But I, I can't take take down Squirrely Girl. Sparta! Oh, oh. I, I thought she was gonna kick her. Shut the fuck up! Gun down! Heads up! Get back! You have nowhere to go. This is your first time playing the entire game? Yes, Perry. I'm tattooing that one day. I, I do like it, it looks really pretty. The, the arm tattoo. Like, it's stylish as heck. Why didn't you shoot her, you stupid broad? Because <laughs> guns don't work in cutscenes, Arson. Don't, don't, don't. I hate this game. <laughs> the fuck's the power doing on? Doesn't matter. Find the trespasser. That was a headshot. What? What? Oh. Oh. Dodging bullets, baby. Look at that. Oh. 
Yeah, I think I might get it myself. That's how much this game means to me. Well, The Last of Us won. The, 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 tat, the, uh, at least tattoo. It's a cool one, I'll admit. I, I see the appeal. I've gotten around it by gifting myself a sub, but I don't know if it still works. There's also the possibility of just stopping the sub after you redeem it. Um, once you pay for a subscription, you have to go to your subscriptions and then click cancel subscription. And then it will only pay for that subscription for the first month. Um, you can give a reason for your cancellation. One reason is I prefer to pay manually. That's the best way to do that if, you, if you're interested. No, but this is scripted parkour. Keep running. No, keep running. You need to keep running. Keep running. It's scripted. She got away. Thank you, guys. Your intense voice made me think of Keanu Reeves now. I'm just thinking, imagine Keanu Reeves as the show's version of Joel. <laughs> Ellie, I'm in deep trouble right now. See, when you search internally, the zombies might not be the monsters, Ellie, but us, ourselves, and we. This is trailing mission, you dummy. It's not that predictable. No, you're right. No, you're, you're, you're right, Perry. Uh, the girl you're chasing. Nor is the girl you're chasing. Oh, she has a name? You're breathing spores. Look. Joel always told me, life is like a box of chocolates. Bang! Don't suck on the nuts. Firefly. There are no fireflies anymore. <laughs> Open marriage is crazy. Where is Lum? She's been very busy and sick lately. Nora's actually pretty cool. Uh, I like the way that her hoodie is a, is a zip-up jacket. Where's Abby? And sleeveless. You think she cut that herself? Or what do, what do, what do you think? Anyway, why would I tell you anything? The Latino delusional, it seems right. <laughs> Igor, you're so bad. Well, just reading all the chat. What he did. Let me give you money. Do it. How many people are dead because of him? I dare you. He wasn't paying attention. Nora's actually pretty cool. If she's so cool. How come I didn't know her name? <laughs> I'm not giving up my. Haha, <laughs> chicken dad. I get it. They kept the ankle wings. Yes, because it's scripted. We love Naughty Dog. Remember when Naughty Dog wasn't scripted? Really? Here's the thing, she's plot important. Oh, is she? Do I have a choice? Do I have a choice? Can I not kill her? Can I, can I not? Well, hang on, let me contemplate this real quick. Should I kill her or like, uh, should I, should I stay or should I go? What do I do? Wow, I've never been in a predicament like this before. I'm thinking really hard right now. Just a button nest in my head. Did I leave the stove on? You know what? I changed my mind. She turns around. Show it. Uh, the redesign was uh, for sure top notch. I like that part, but I I would like Namor from the comics personality with uh, MCU costume if that's the trade off. I I you know what? Maybe in the next movie he'll be more like the comic Justin. That's what I'm hoping for. Dang, thirteen. We definitely got, got a hang, bro. I know it's it's, it's been thirteen years. Uh, you sweet summer child. You're gonna like the Abby fight. Oh yeah. Well, here's the thing about Nora. She had plot armor. Oh, until now. Only golf clubs work in cutscenes. Well, look at this beautiful cin uh, cinematography. It's such a great video game. Sally. Dina! Are you okay? Christ. Is that your yes, it was a headshot, but in, in this world, gas masks have bulletproof lining. It's a Kevlar gas mask. <laughs> it doesn't weigh anything. She's I get my Twitch you. gift card from, from Dundle. Who is Aquarium? I was, but you beat me to the punch. Well, you can okay. you can give me money next month. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Keanu, Joel, Ellie, we are the last of us. Let's get you cleaned up. Ellie. Ellie, it's me. Remember me? The last? 
You're of us. The last of us. Ellie. Ellie, watch. Don't suck on the nuts. OMG. Yeah. Well, your dad never told you that? <laughs> Wait, so you went there. You asked people where Nora was to, uh, to ask Nora where Abby was? Yes. Yes, Arson. I like the way she delivered your her, I'll admit. Nora, I mean. Okay, but Nora is cool, you'll see, and maybe not. She got a point. Well, if you read the subtitles. Elameo. Nope, but you can watch Ellie hyperventilate. <laughs> I did the exact same thing. <laughs> She'll walk it off. Wow, guys, Ellie got dark. Love this shot. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. I'm, I'm having so much fun playing this game right now. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> What's up, Couch Potatoes? How you doing? She just killed somebody for the first time. That's a lie. Whoa. Ellie just killed somebody for the first time. We've killed millions. D d what? <laughs> Ellie just... <laughs> We've killed dozens. We've killed so many people back there. What do you mean? <laughs> I made her talk. That was a joke, I think. I know. <laughs> No, I know. Uh, man. Frick Dina. Uh, Keanu... Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Thanks. Keanu was actually a lot of people's pick for Namor. I think for a while. Ooh, I don't know about that. Empiris Rex. <laughs> if you think Ellie can't beat a woman that spent years training in his, uh, an apocalypse hall, well, you're right. You'll see. These nuts. This reminds me of uh, Cody and Hell in a Cell. What? But the story is cool. No, it's not, Perry. You just don't understand the difference between a good story and a bad story. I've seen your videos. <laughs> Ellie just killed her first million. I know, right? She hit the jackpot. <laughs> like she, she kills Nora. <laughs> the alarm goes off. Winner, Kenya. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, show your controller again. Is it red and black? Yes, it is. Just like my heart. But hey, this acting is good. Yeah, the acting's good. I'll give it that. Don't worry. This is a Lara killing a deer in Tomb Raider 13 cutscene thing. Draws bows next time. <laughs> yeah, it's like you've killed a bunch of people, but oh, the deer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm a kid again. Joel? Eggy? It's my favorite colors. Red and black? No way. I'm playing with semi-adorable power. Cody back at the Royal Rumble. Let's go. Did you guys hear Justin Roiland's in jail? Come on. Remember like two years ago on stream I said he's the kind of person you'd find out weird stuff about and then he'd end up in jail? I, I just... I just... I love being right. It just makes me feel so good. So good inside. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Did you call that? I did two years ago. One of my earliest streams, I mentioned, like, I'm not a big fan of Rick and Morty, and I, I said that as one of the reasons. And I, I need to find that VOD and, like, clip that. Her eyes spin and then says, <laughs> Nora's eyes spin around. Uh, another flashback. Uh-oh, another flashback. I know, this is what the game should have been. A wrestler torn his uh, pectoral but went to wrestle anyway. It was purple from his shoulder all the way to his ribcage. Jeez, and he's back now? Is he going to be okay? Do you know where you are? Yes, of course. Joel was here. Uh, well, I'm sure the game will tell me because it likes to tell me things. Uh, he's being charged for domestic violence. Jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez, Rick. Domestic violence and texting minors, if I remember correctly. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, makes me feel so good for people to have suffered at the hands of this man just to be proven right. Well, clearly he was putting people through suffering long before I said anything. It's just the fact that I said something and people thought I was crazy for saying that. I, I, it feels good knowing that those people were wrong. That's all. I don't think it's good what he did, obviously. I'd rather be wrong in a situation like this. 
crosses out Humble J as nickname. Humble J? Am I a humble person? I, I don't think I am. I think I'm a... Uh, what word would you, would you guys use to describe me? I think it was like in Life is Strange, maybe, shot in the dark. You're in The Last of Us? Yeah, maybe it was Life is Strange, uh, Arson. You're in The Last of Us. Hey, I respect what it is, but it's flawed AF. Uh, respect what what is this game? He spent eight months healing from the injury. Cody is back uh, for the Royal Rumble. Nice, dude. I'm, I'm glad, dude. I'm glad he's recovered. That's good. That's good to hear. Uh, it should not have won Game of the Year. I'm still mad about that. What do you think should have won, uh, uh, Perry? Of course he's texting minors. Who else watches Rick and Mort? <laughs> Yo, Arson, you know, I love when your snark is directed towards, like, fiction, because it's it's powerful. I, I envy your uh, prowess for snark. I wish I was that good. Um, would have been fine. Oh, Joel! Eggie, what'd I tell you about leaving me for, to golf clubs and stuff? What do you think's gonna happen, huh? Come here. Jeez. Dying your hair red now? What are you, one of those liberals? Ugh. What's the matter with you, kid? She's like, my hair's always been this color, Joel. Ah, don't you sass me. <laughs> Bring Boomer Joel back. Black talented? <laughs> black? One word to describe me. Black. <laughs> Would have been five months if you hadn't wrestled, apparently. Let's talk about the funny mushroom game. Oh, that's a loaded question. Uh funny mushroom game. What, Mario? Me one more time. Hey, I'm leaving now. Watching the Gravity Falls finale with Fran. Take care, Igor, come back. Go some Tsushima. You will never see me again. Oh oh, you thought that should have won game of the year? Really? Huh. But if you I agree, but also, truth. what the hell came out in 2020? <laughs> Have fun, Igor. Yeah, golf clubs are I'll dangerous around these Jackson. parks. Shut up, good cutscene. No matter what it is. I'm a virgin. Joel. I thought you'd judge me if I told you. Making a vaccine. Would have killed you. Oh my God. Okay, genuine question. Someone, someone bring me up to date. Is she crying because he lied? Or is she crying because... You should have let me die. So I could save Don't humanity. Fucking touch me. Would she have rather die? I'll go back. But we're done. Both, I think? Oh. That's really sad. <laughs> I wanna make jokes, but I'll, I'll just I'll just not joke. I'll just not show. <laughs> Aw, wee wee wee! Aw, boo hoo, Ellie! What, you want me to get you killed? Is that what you want? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Ellie, I'm on Twitch! Cover it up, girl.
Joel's like, I saved you. What's the problem? You're alive, aren't you? Look, if I let you get that whole vaccine thing, you know, look, COVID's not, <laughs> you imagine Joel getting really bad? Look, Eggy, if I let you go through with the vaccine, you wouldn't even be here crying to me, okay? Huh? What would you have to be sad about? You'd be too dead to be sad Hello? about anything. Jesse? James. Uh... No, The Last of Us. Shut up, good cutscene. Jay, uh, can we go back to Donkey Kong Country next time? Monday? Sure, man. If, if Marcus is free, I don't want to play it without him. The Last of Us is, is the funny mushroom game. Oh, I see. Good. The Last of Us 2? I'm sorry. I don't compute. Dang. Why is she so emotional? Bad game. Bad game. Bad. Well, I don't mind that. I'm okay with that. Uh, I know, right? Real games only let you shoot people. <laughs> Did they ever give a reason why it would have killed her? Just because science, Lady Soja. Ellie and Joel's falling out just, just feels contrived. Uh, how so? Because, like, in real life, that's not how vaccines work. I know. I know. Literally the culmination of the entirety of the first game. Why was this not the main game? Yeah, Austin. Seriously. The flashbacks are more interesting than everything else that's happening in this game. Let's be real here. The war the merrier. Curtis Joel, and Viper 4. What's your favorite? Coitus and Viper. Oh, Jason Statham, I'm playing a ninja. My name's Viper. Wait for the scene to end. Both, I think. Yeah, she would have rather died because of her promise to her friend. Uh, Black Girl from DLC I didn't play. I'm glad I didn't play it. I'm kidding, I did play it. No, Ellie Booby is only Abby. <laughs> this game starts when we see Ellie having sex and smoking weed. It's like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> but boobs? Nah, that's the devil. Can't have that on TV. It's all right. There's no under boob. It was side boob. That that's Twitch is gonna Twitch is gonna lose it. Uh, did you hear that YouTube's like yeah. cracking down on videos that have Jesse. curse words in it? Like I love that because now Game Grumps is screwed, and like every channel that people think swearing equals funny. If you've noticed, I haven't cussed once this entire stream because. You don't need to. English language is a beautiful thing. Use a different word to express your anger. Be creative. Be e creative. Um, oh. Are we in a theater? Huh, I wonder what's showing. Jay, we love your The Last of Us jokes. That's why there's an entire emote. Just some scenes deserve more than others. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo, Eggy. What, you want to die? Is that what you want? Pulls out a shotgun. You want to die? <laughs> oh, you think, uh... I did that in Joel's book. Oh, you think the scene is bad? Just wait. You spoiled it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's a streamer. He probably uh, knows there's nudity. Yeah, I know there's nudity in this. This is a video game. I think the flashbacks add more weight to the main story. Yeah, that's because... Perry, I've seen your videos. <laughs> uh, I don't know specifically, but just it doesn't sit right. Uh, I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, personally. Having sex with me, 50% of my life, what's the other 50? <laughs> Shoot, flip, darn, camp. Uh, yes, that's old news. Good thing I don't curse. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. Uh, yep, RGT got demonetized. He got anxiety after and was hospitalized. He okay now, though. You can get anxiety from... You can get hospitalized and anxiety... Whoa. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> that can happen? Jeez. All because the, all he had to do was not swear in his videos? Jeez. RGT? Yeah, uh, uh, re regular g grandpa targeting. Uh, this one's for all my homeboys out there. Sitting on a table and I got something new My girlfriend, Dina, I think that she's a hoot to be around You know what it is, being Ellie Sometimes I don't take showers so I'm smelly Every day 
I look in the mirror and I tell myself Life could be clearer Who the heck tuned this guitar? Who the heck tuned this guitar? Oh wait, there's gotta be a song that has this exact chord, chord combination. What, what is it? How did it go? It's like la 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 This was on Hurdle. I wrote her off for the tenth time today Don't know the words, don't know what I should say I know I'm being used, but that's okay, man, cause I like the abuse. Oh, way, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the like response time is weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I loved when Adam Plays did those songs. Oh, it, dude, you can do so many songs because it's, it's, it's five key signatures, but you can use the relative minors, which makes it possible. So, like, the chord progression, if this is in C, the root note's at the top. The chord progression is six, four, one, five, which is one of the most basic chord progressions that happens everywhere in every song ever. But it, it's, it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Um, I don't know. Let me think of something else. Uh... I'm trying to think if I could, hang on, is A here? Yeah, it is. Oh, but it's A major, so I have to do like, what four B? I have to like switch. <laughs> be like uh, G sharp major, I guess B, hang on. Anyway. <laughs> Now do classical gas, no. <laughs> Bro, Dina's trash, I'm sorry, I know, right? Uh, anyway, back to my The Last of Us. Uh, good thing I don't curse. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. Cracking down on having curse words at the start of the video, is, it's fine a little bit after a certain point. Oh, add a Joel and golfing gear remote. <laughs> I use curse words instead of saying, uh, when I'm having brain fog and it's such a bad habit. <laughs> Just randomly cuss. RGT? Nintendo YouTuber. Same, LMAO. I need to quit, especially as a writer. Stop swearing. Look, just stop, okay? You're mature adults. Stop speaking like teenagers. Where'd you learn your vocabulary, huh? YouTube? <laughs> Come on, Eggy. Enough with the cuss words. Bro, this is why I wanted Jay to play guitar on here. Oh, there, there's a lot of songs we can do. Maybe I'll, like... I don't know. Hang on. Let me make a save that is just here. I'll make a brand new save. Just for the guitar. Just for the guitar. Um, bro, uh, I heard the problem's more that it's not consistently enforced and it's screwing over people who may swear casually but not excessively. Well, here's the thing. In a scripted video, there's no reason to swear. In a scripted video... <laughs> I've seen people do actual covers on here. It's really cool. I know, right? The timing of the strums is weird, though, admittedly. You have to go, like, slightly before you want it to play. She went on this revenge quest with Ellie knowing she might be pregnant. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Dina? Yeah, I loved when Adam plays with those songs. Uh, thanks for the link. I'm so gl glad the clickers respect music and would never attack someone playing guitar. Nah, they stay away from the theater. They don't like theater. They're not one for melodrama. Or maybe they're up there sitting in the pews. Hello, well, switching is annoying. Uh, switching from chord to chord? Back to sunshine and rainbows of the gameplay, I know. You can go back to the guitar segment when you beat the game, if you beat it. Oh! I did not know that. Someone waiting for me behind here? Hey. Uh, Jesse? I'll YouTube even if 
I personally don't like people swearing a hundred times a minute. I don't like companies restricting like that. It's pretty hilarious. Scripted videos? What is this? Vimeo? Well, I'd assume most YouTubers script their videos. Well, maybe not most, but reviewers, I guess? A ton of YouTube videos are scripted. Yeah, a lot of them are. Sometimes they even just read directly off of the Wikipedia page. Wild. <laughs> A rough night. Bro, I scripted most of my videos yeah, unless I'm doing tutorials. Yeah. Scripted looked at Wiki for a sec. You should have woken me up. This ain't 2006 anymore, bro. We all script. It's safer to. Same thought. Justin, I read your mind. Wait, Eggie, how is she pregnant? How did that happen? What did you do? I told you to keep it wrapped, Eggy. Admires the joke flying. I get why you came out here. What, Vimeo? But we gotta take her back. She needs real care and she's not gonna get that. Yeah, I know. Also, energetic, the word to describe me. Thank you, Igor, I know he's not here. Referring to no one specific in that statement, too. Dang, yeah, even Ellie's is bigger than mine, Jesse. He's out here because of me. So, okay, who's the father? Is it Jesse? Maybe you could take her back. But I thought Dina was with, with Ellie. What, what, what happened? Who banged Dina? Yeah. And when did the banging occur? Screw it. Let's get done. She used to be with Jesse. She's now with this Ellie. Where that girl so told you about. She, she had unprotected Tommy hasn't found uh, no pants victory we'll dance with... Uh, with Jesse, and then started date broke up with Jesse, started dating Ellie, and then it's like, oh no. I was wondering why my period wasn't coming. She didn't. Okay. <laughs> that never occurred to her. I'll just meet you up front. Because, it's what, like, an, how many months has it been? Ellie's massive. <laughs> Joel's the baby daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Joel Jr. Joel 2. No, I got it. We'll name it The Last of Us. Bro, uh, talking about protected and unprotected during an apocalypse. Well, just pull out, Jesse, you wuss. You loser. <laughs> you cuck. <laughs> you absolute cuck. <laughs> okay. Uh. What, you have no self-control? You can't just... You can't just eject... Dude, the pregnant ladies ruined this game. Whoa, hey, whoa. You know, I find in fiction, pregnancy is always portrayed as a negative thing. You ever notice that? Showed the aquarium along the shore. Like, in so many works of fiction, it's portrayed as negative. How does anyone stay dry in this city? Agreed, Jay, it's cringe. It's so common, even to this day, it's so common. It's treated as though it's like, oh no. It's never okay. like, oh, yay. Even in comedies, it's, it's always like, oh, oh, God, what am I going to do? And then, you know, laugh track. Always, 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 always. Not in Fire Emblem. Thanks. Talking about real cinema, Arson. I'm talking about, like, you know, not that Japanese stuff. <laughs> what did you tell Dean? You Greek freak? <laughs> Real I cinema, knew. like Bluey. Tell no, no, real cinema, That's like iCarly. <laughs> I wasn't. Or How I Met Your Mother. I don't think so. Uh, is it portrayed negatively in that too? I'm sure you could still find condoms in the apocalypse. It's not an item that stores would have been raided for. What's funny is the apocalypse happened in 2013, correct? Uh, don't condoms take five years to expire? When does this take place? What kind of falling out? Uh, he was a smuggler. And yes, condoms expire, we kids. about some goods. If I broke out, some of them... Well, Jesse, watch out! Guess they want payback. <laughs> Whoa, you dodged the bullet. That changed anything? I see why Dina likes you. No. Nope. You can dodge bullets, but you can't pull out? I What's the matter with you? <laughs> when we find Tom, you're good with going home. Yeah. <laughs> that was so interesting. Yeah, you saw him, like, Han Solo neck... <laughs> <laughs> Neck dodge that. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> 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 
Jesse didn't skip a beat, bro. He just, Psh, we better find a safe place for D. <laughs> yeah, I bet you have. I'm sure you have. Oh. I'm not a genus and <laughs> Japanese word chess. Real cinema, like Velma. Oh, yeah, because The Last of Us is cinema. Angel, not cinematic. Got it. Well, I didn't want to say Angel because I was trying to make a joke, so I was looking for the least cinematic thing I could think of. So I said iCarly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they can use pig intestines. As condoms? Are you insane? This is 2039. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're probably expired. Yeah, Han Solo, neck. That, that was impressive. Hang on, let's see if he does it again. Yeah, he like dodges. Something in my eye, Ellie. Stop. Cut it out, Ellie. <laughs> I was gonna say not a lot of vampires. I met zombies. Not a lot of zombies in this game. Maybe we're the zombies. Our perpetual need to consume. Just like zombies. Well, I was, I was about to shoot him. I thought that was a person. I've been so conditioned You're to like shoot people. Here. Jammed? Yeah. You ever worried they're gonna come back to Jackson after? What else are they gonna do? The pull-out method? Yes. Yes, it's very, it's very simple. It's a very simple method. It's not safe though. Like, don't do that. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, we're going through a lot of their people in their city because of what they did. Didn't you could blast it if you look into my peephole. They don't like us, but we do it for the people. I mean, Joel and Tommy helped Abby when she got attacked. These people are trying to kill everyone around them. I mean, they shot you on sight, didn't they? Yeah. Apoco condoms. <laughs> Apoc. <laughs> Do yourself homemade condoms. Oh, God. If there's nothing else. Uh, what did you say, Eggy? Jesse pulls out ear trumpet. What did you say? <laughs> yeah, because that would destroy his ears. Lots of us refers to the zombies. Uh, rev yeah, <laughs> there's hardly any of them left. <laughs> oh, man. I thought you said it was jammed. Oh, I tripped. Why'd you trip me? <laughs> I had a nickel for every time the pull-out method worked for me. Oh, God. Don't do that. That's so risky, dude. Fucked up a bunch of wolves. You've been impressed. Perry, the kind of brother who'd, who'd, who'd have a baby and then in his YouTube videos mention the baby. Be like, yeah, you know... Uh, thanks for, for for watching the video. Be sure to support because I have a I have a daughter to feed. <laughs> would you do that, Perry? I would do that. Oh God, <laughs> Perry, please don't 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 do that, Perry. Uh, listen, kids. I don't care how poor I am. I will never ask you guys for money. <laughs> Outside of like jokes, my my pride and ego is is it far outweighs my need. <laughs> as a joke, as a joke, Perry, I can never tell when you're joking. That's the problem. We wouldn't get it. What should I upgrade, by the way, gang? Stability. I mean, I think I'm okay. Reload speed, maybe. Yeah, night. wait, wait, wait. Reload speed for what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll fix that. Because I, I have... It has screwed me over a few times. What's he, Cinemasker? Just, hey, give me money. Can't make videos because my, my kids... Nah, Cinemasker's not like that. Like, it, maybe their other videos are. I only really watch the Angry Video Game Nerd stuff. But, um... 
my favorite thing about Cinemasker is James saying, I have no time. Have you seen the compilations of that? Where he's like, I love to do this video, but I just don't have time. <laughs> Man, I, you know, the only reason this video didn't get made is, well, I just didn't have enough time. <laughs> and then flat out, I love the compilation someone made where the final clip is him playing Bill and Ted. And uh, Mike says, oh, you're running out of time. And then James is like, time sucks. I hate time. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> uh, every time J James complains about time. <laughs> oh my god, I would never be serious about that reload speed. I thought you were joking. I don't care. It won't matter in the cutscenes. Uh, what won't? You just asked what you should upgrade. Uh, yeah, Perry's one of the only ones whose sarcasm evades me unless he uses starcasm. There's an emote that helps all of us understand whether or not you're going, you're being sarcastic. Just use the emote. You're a subscriber, you have it. Hey, give me a hand. Do I actually have to do that every time I'm sarcastic? Yes. He says it's because of his kids always. Uh, not always, but he... Like, okay, again, maybe just I'm not familiar with the other videos on that channel. I don't really watch the other videos on that channel. I just gotta ask. So maybe he does do that. Why didn't she tell me about him? No, it's just most people I, I can tell Listen, without. I'm sure. What, the people in your she'll Discord? Tell you about it when <laughs> no, it's just. Uh, I know Austin said that, but I don't know about a mode until last month, I swear. Oh, really? Well, you've had a whole month to use it, brother. It won't be like last time. I'm nervous. We're all nervous. They have the whole coast covered. They're gonna shoot us out of the goddamn water. Thanks. He just walked right hey. through. You sound like them. Don't act like there's a choice, man. Think of what will happen if we succeed. That was a headshot. We got this, Jesse. We got this. Come on. Thanks for running towards me. Genius strategy, gotta say. Make my life easier. On your left. got this. Stretch and Hydra, thank you. Wow, this game is so realistic. Starcasm. You have to use the emote. You can't just say starcasm. Reload. one is it? This? No, the one with Starlet. I didn't see him. Good thing bullets don't work on me while I'm in my attack animation. Get him, Jesse. Oh. Shooting everywhere but her. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'm a bad shot. Let's go. Up. Oh. It's all Ellie. This is canon, okay? I'm just I'm just playing according to how the game Please don't. Please. Please. No. Look, the game didn't give me any other option, all right? It said strike. That'll do it. That'll do it. Wolves, man. So triggered. They're at war with this fucked up cult. Heard them talk about seraphims or something, seraphites. Scars is all I've heard them called. You run into any? No. You're lucky. The red one with glitter. <laughs> uh. Well, that makes me feel good. Uh, which one is it? Yes, that was a headshot, but don't you know that <laughs> this world... <laughs> Trucker caps have a bulletproof life. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like, I like Phoenix's just, like, like explanations that make no sense whatsoever, but it's like, oh no, no, like, what is this, Saints Row reboot, where headshots only count if it's the last hit, so then it's like, what's the point? <laughs> I actually can't see it. Wait, this? You can't see the emote? Really? This is cringe. On grounded difficulty, they just die. Oh, really? Fun fact, Ellie is immune because she's actually X-23. It's a Marvel prequel. I mean, that whole movie was just the last of us. Logan. Logan. Did I explore everywhere? Yeah, I think I did. Maybe I'll check the other side. Yeah, none of them beg for their lives. Yeah, it was. Oh, none of them beg for their lives on Grounded? Are you serious? That's weird. That's a weird change. Ugh, Hugh Jackman would have made a good Joel. I agree. Jackman. Hey, wasn't there some guy that showed up that said he was going to be here today to talk about how The Last of Us is 90% um, of people watching The Last of Us on HBO have never played the game? A statistic that I said is impossible. Where, where are they? Where are they? Probably realized how wrong they were. You're like, well, I'm not showing up. That'd, that'd just be embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, except they killed off the old man in the first story. No, I think them dying is fine. Uh, I was on bro's side until he said 90. 90%, 90 that's an insane estimate. I heard, by the way, that they actually offered the role of Joel first to a black actor, and he turned it down. Black Joel. I'm from the South, and one of them city boys from Texas, one of them country boys, sorry, not city boys. Black Joel. Uh, the only difference would be when he meets Henry, and uh, Henry's son, what's Henry's son's name? Lowell, Jack. <laughs> Jack. Uh, when he meets Henry, the black guy with his black son, the only difference would be like, it's like, who are you? Identify yourself. It's like, my name's Henry. I'm here with my son. Oh, all right. And they, they, wa they walk up to you. Oh, yo, what's good, brother? How you doing? That's all that would be different. <laughs> they dap each other up. Um, again, as I said, been rewatching Angel, right? There's this awesome scene where, like, two characters, they, they start, like, Bonding basically they start realizing oh, we're from different worlds, but we have so much in common um, Like I get minor spoiler, but like one's from the hood and the other ones like from like upper-class England, right? And it's really funny because They end up becoming like really good friends and there's a scene where <laughs> literally <laughs> Angels there and he hasn't been there for a while. It's like uh, what's changed since I've gone? And then it's like, oh, yo, this brother took a bullet for me. It's like, you're darn right I did. They're dapping each other up and everything. And then they stop. And, th and then they're talking about stuff. And then it's like, uh, all right, all right. And then it's like, hey, we got we to take out these guys. It's very important we do this to save this girl. It's like, all right, cool. It's like, you have my, you have my back? you darn right I got your back. <laughs> they start dapping each other. And Angel's just standing there like, what did I miss? <laughs> you two hated each other before. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, uh, this really posh English guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was Henry's brother. Uh, wait, what? 
Oh, the little, the little kid was his brother? Mahershala Ali would be the wrong direction. For Joel, I agree. Look, Justin, if they recasted Joel as a black man, no one would watch the show. I'm glad the black guy realized that. <laughs> He's like, I really don't want to get hated on for being in this. <laughs> so I'm going to politely decline. <laughs> you said she'll tell me when. Once things are. Um, I think it would have been interesting, but I think Pedro Pascal was the better I choice. I agree. Uh, not really, just would have been the same, but with your lead actor not acting right. I don't. Uh, why is that, Justin? It's almost February, my friend. <laughs> I hate that he's right, but at least Sarah is black. Sarah? Who's Sarah? Oh, his daughter? Wait, hang on. Wait, what? <laughs> what? No, they didn't make Sarah black in the show, did they? Bro. Duh. <laughs> My daughter, Sarah. They did? <laughs> okay, hang on. So, okay. Is that is that his biological kid? Or, or are they adopted? Yes. Bro, literally has no bearing on the plot. It changes the dynamic a bit. Like, is it by blood? Like, is the is, is his wife... Is his wife black? Is Sarah biracial? What's going on here? Yes. Look at this mess. I'm assuming, yeah, she's mixed. Plus, uh, plus first couple of lines, I you use swear uh, Pedro well. does a weird twang in his voice. Not really, no, his wife it. isn't around. It's my blood. Okay. All right, cool. Then whatever. There's no difference. But if it's an adopted child, that does change things. That actually does change things. Because then his dynamic with Ellie like would swimming. be, I guess, more similar to one he's already had. One of a child that's not his by blood at least um that would change things it it, it changes it, it changes the dynamic a little bit if, if it was adopted but if it's yeah if she's just my like biracial then yeah it doesn't change anything yeah but she's still blood. yeah exactly if, if she's still blooded it literally doesn't change anything but like because you said black i'm just assuming like I'm picturing Joel. <laughs> I'm picturing white Joel and white, white Tess and white. Uh, what's the what's the guy's name that was with Joel at the beginning? Was it Tommy? And they're in their white house with their white family portraits, and then there's just a black girl there. <laughs> just like what? <laughs> like dark, like my my color black. <laughs> it's like. Uh... <laughs> His brother, Tommy. Yeah, it was Tommy. You know, his brother. <laughs> uh, it'd be funny if Tommy was black, because then, then, <laughs> like, Joel's wife is still white. Because then it's like, wait, why is the baby mixed? T Tommy, you want to tell me something? Is that a clicker or is that a jumper? Is that a clicker or is that a licker? The fake clicker. Tommy's played by uh, Gabriel Luna, Ghost Rider and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Wait, Tommy's Hispanic? What? <laughs> so is Joel. Oh, Pedro Pascal? Yeah, that's true. Pedro is true, true. I I guess. <laughs> this way. All right. <laughs> oh, we got we got Southern twang Latinos here. Like, uh, this is a this is an interesting this is an interesting um interesting thing going on here. The race changes have no bearings on the plot. It doesn't, but it looks funny. <laughs> it doesn't, <it>, but... <laughs> like, could you imagine... Go back, there's stuff in there. Okay, thank you, Perry. Um, could you imagine, like, Black Joel with, like, deep south twang? 
Like not even like like black not even like Morgan Freeman twang. But like nah, nah, going or like Sam Elliott twang. You know what I mean? A lot of the Latinos in the US are from the South, specifically Texas, uh, so not inaccurate to be fair. True. Do they have the twang though? <laughs> What are you shooting at? Uh, Gabriel Luna is from Texas, so it's it it fits anyway. That I don't know. Some probably. Pedro is from Chile. Yo, really? So. So he's a Latino. Doing a Texas accent. Does it work? Does does it at least sound convincing? Guts, glory, ram. Do they get rid of have, having spores in the show yeah. so leads so. won't have to hide faces in some scenes with gas masks? Uh, I don't think that'd be in the first episode. Probably be in the next episode. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, Perry told me there was stuff down here. This Jesse, I'm right there with you, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Hey, 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 bottoms every day. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Ask Lum, not me. I know this is this is a time where having Lum in chat would be very helpful. Dude, you were supposed to kill all of them, man. Come on. This is why Dina left you. Just so you know, Jesse. This is why. Because he just can't seem to commit. Go on, go ahead. Finish the job you started. Go on. let a man do a woman's job. Whoop. Go on, go on. Come on, Jesse, prove yourself. <sighs> Gotta be doing your job for you, bro. Gabriel Luna from uh, Austin. Uh, it's perfect? Wait, what? Okay, wait, hang on. Okay, now that's it. All right, that's the last of them. Come on, Ellie. Yeah. Just melee right. them, no. Then I'll lose my precious knife. They're stalkers. You can you can hit them. I, I can't tell the difference. These, this enemy design is awful. Do I get back over there? Do I swim? not me. I honestly don't remember him having a deep accent. Yeah, it's fine. Not super pronounced like Baker's, but it's distracting either. It's just there. 
But it isn't distracting either. It's just there. Gotcha. Uh, no spores are confirmed to be gone. Oh, they're gone? Oh, no spores are confirmed to be gone. Uh, they wanted to make it more scientifically accurate, I think, and spores would spread everywhere in real life, not just hovering around small areas. Scientifically accurate, really. So I guess if they get shot in any episode, they're going to have to, like, actual get actually get proper medical treatment. Instead of just shrugging it off with healing items. Or, 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 they'll just never get shot. No, Jay. It's the last of us. <laughs> Lady Soja. Uh, Joel definitely has a twang in the games. He's from Austin, which they don't tend to have as strong of an accent as other Texans, from what I know. Uh, I'm a northern boy, though. Uh, this is just from research. Gotcha. It was strange hearing Pedro try the accent because I hadn't heard it before. Um, just melee them. It was a shame because I love the options uh, for Mohik shots. Um, Gabriel Luna from Austin. It's perfect. Uh, they're stalkers. You can hit them. Never mind. No, Jay. It's the last of us. There's a difference if you pay attention. Clickers have more stuff on their face. Stalkers have halfway there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be sure to. I'll, I'll be. I'll be sure to take a really good look at them before I shoot them. It's like, is is this a clicker? Is this a licker? When they're like right in my face, I'll be. I'll be sure to. I'll be sure to take a look next time. Thank you, Perry. L city, L state, man. Wait, what? It's the showrunner of Chernobyl. So hopefully, uh. Wow. Oh, wow, nice. That's always great to see. It was harder to tell in the first game. It's the show owner of uh, Scream since they replaced Pittsburgh <laughs> with Boston. Oh, jeez. I thought this was going to be accurate. No, but you see, the science dictates that Boston would be spreading full of this infectious disease much quicker than Pittsburgh. That's what the science says, my dude. With melee, just axe those enemies. What type they? What type they indeed, Phoenix? What type are they? Clicker. I mean, not clickers. Fake, fake clickers. What are they called? Jobbers or something? Stalkers? Stalkers. They really are jobbers, though. They just get their butts kicked. You know, instead of a crazy religious cult in this game, why not make it, like, the zombies are evolving to the point of having intelligence. Like, sentience. Make it like I Am Legend. Come on, Jay, you gotta know your Last of Us lore. <laughs> it's so interesting, Perry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. I need to pay attention to this very, very in-depth, very fascinating story of the religious cult and the factions that uh, all sort of... Uh, maybe in The Last of Us 4. Uh, maybe. <laughs> With the change uh, idea, Jay, would that mean that Ellie isn't the bad guy? Oh, oh, you, oh, you mean like having a story where our heroes are heroes? Wild, right? Zombie society, they start their own religion to have religious cults, offshoots. Relig zombie religious cults. And like, then there's like different denominations and stuff like that. They can't agree on which text is sacred. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Dilly dally, shilly shally. Hey, raiders! Uh... I'm gonna- I was literally about to use the bathroom. Uh, fine, I'll just- I'll just hold it in. I'll just hold it in so I can entertain y'all for a little bit. That was a perfectly timed raid. Uh, Dirtiest Worm, good to see you. How you doing? Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Take care, Perry. How are you? Love the emote. What is that? Is that from Mario? Is that that eel thing? Got him. I know. Literally when I was about to just take a big old dump. No, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, uh... It's all in clicks and subtitles. <laughs> I just... They make their own language. I didn't think you'd be okay with all this. Super zombie religion. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, that's, that's, uh... Which one is that? I would have come. 64, I'm assuming? It looks like it's those old polygons. Those N64 polys, bro. Name some games you like, Dirtiest Worm. Let's talk. Mario 63, yeah, I thought so. 
Clicker in a suit running <laughs> for election. I mean... Oh, you're man. Handsome and whatever, but I'm not into your type. What? Asians? Yeah, that's obviously what I meant. What? Asians? Oh, you're racist, Ellie? Look, Ellie. We're the last of us, okay? We have to repopulate somehow. The human pest problem making human camps. <laughs> it, it. If they did that, sentient zombies for The Last of Us 3. Jesus. But they still do the same religious Jesus plot. Really last of Us 1, Last of Us 2, everything Metal Gear, what Resident Evil, speedruns, horror titles, nice. Uh, I've been playing Resi recently, so I'm new to Resident Evil. I finished 2 not that long ago on stream. Uh, I'm going to play 3 soon. I did start 8. I will get back to that with Lady Dami Mommy. Wow. We'll get back to that. This place is fun. Eggy. Dang, Elliot. I had to drop that Let's get back to schism yeah. from software games. Racist Eggy. Face palm. I know, right? What was she thinking? I would go and do the man like that, Eggy. But yeah, we've played the last of it. Look, here. Here's, look, look, look. Just Here's here's all my link trees, okay? That's me. I'm Janiac Jr., ex-YouTuber. 71,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm also, I make music. Exclamation mark CDs. You can buy a CD on Amazon. It's not hip hop. Even though I'm black, I know I know you see this face and this, this skin, and you think, oh, he probably makes hip hop. It's not hip hop. But, you know, go check it out. If you want. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's rad AF. Yeah, man. It is. You're, you are, you have witnessed. <laughs> you are in the presence of... A potential, a potential person that does things. This man just said exclamation mark CDs nuts. <laughs> yeah, man. Exclamation mark CDs, bro. You think I'm playing? You think I'm playing? And I ain't falling for it, bro. Told you. <laughs> oh no, more people to kill. Here's my question. Why do we have to kill them? See the dog. Why is Ellie the worst friend ever in part two? <laughs> ah. Gonna, I'm gonna be real with you. The games I usually play here on stream, uh, they have this little thing about them. Um, they're fun. Uh, unfortunately, this game's in a weird category where. As soon as I start to have fun, it becomes nothing but cutscenes. But hey, if you're a fan of it, if you're if you're a fan of it, by all means, enjoy it. Don't let me determine what you should and shouldn't enjoy. Ellie McMurder. <laughs> uh, it's a family name, really, McMurder. <laughs> is this grounded? I'm currently doing a grounded permadeath playthrough on part one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the most basic average playthrough you can do because it's my first time playing this game. Very likely my last. But I do want to finish it. Have you seen the show? You said you're a fan of the series. What do you think of the show so far? The name came to me when I hit a million. <laughs> yes. What do you think of it so far? Stop shaking. Stop shaking. That was a headshot. Doesn't matter. Game's just just taking shots from me, bro. I really enjoyed it. You? 
I haven't seen it yet. I will watch it, though. Once three episodes are out, I want to just do a whole binge. But, uh, yeah. Janiac. Thank you, Dirtiest Worm. I've heard nothing but good things, which is <laughs> always positive. The VOD will be here, will be on the VOD channel. XOH Mark VOD. Um, that channel, uh, as soon as this stream is over, that's where all the stuff goes. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Much appreciated. Thank you for the raid, honestly. Uh, a million? A million kills, Ellie replies. One million? She's been keeping count. One, two, <laughs> 37,498. <laughs> Have I reached the poops pants cutely threshold yet for this stream? You haven't done that. I think you've done it like twice this stream. Poops pants cutely. You're hilarious, Phoenix. Don't change. Also, yeah, dude, uh, for your photography, man. I'm loving the photography you've, you've been putting out. You had one weird photo, though, where it was just a picture of a guy. And I'm like, who's this? I'm right here. No, no, oh, game, come on. Very tactical strategy to jump down when you have the higher ground. Jesse, are you doing anything? Are you doing anything? Thanks for the backup, buddy. Yeah, those wolves aren't too smart. I know, right? I mean, yeah. Daddy's in it. Uh, Pedro Pascal, it's, it's gotta be good. Jackson, <laughs> Me too. Pedro Pascal as Joel. The homie. You know, Eggie, when I was your age, I, I dreamt of being in a movie. Or a TV show or something like that. You know how much I like movies, Eggie. Pedro Pascal's playing me in this show. Wild. Who'd have thunk it? I look better as a Latino, honestly. <laughs> uh, Daddy does a good job. You guys are hilarious. Daddy's is the state of mind, Pedro Pascal. Real quote. Are you serious? From what? What's the context behind that? <laughs> I mean, Pedro, yes. Bro. Interview. What, what did they say to prompt that? So what do you think of daddy? <laughs> he said he was a daddy. <laughs> Not even a daddy, just daddy. Like the. And he agrees, no context, no context, just drops the daddy. Oh my gosh. Is this what you were playing before, uh, Dirtiest Worm? I guess I'll just call you Worm. He said he has no kids, but he's daddy and it's state of mind. <laughs> I can see why people like this guy. Whoa, statues. Are they zombies too? Yeah, I'm playing part one again. Is part one any different than the remaster? Like, as far as gameplay goes? Yeah, lol. Pedro has a very thirsty fan base, maybe including me, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, hey man, no judgment. No judgment. I feel you. Maybe the AI. The AI, the AI is a little different. Have you played one before? Or is Well, you said again, so I'm assuming it's your second playthrough. The gameplay, for the most part, is the same as the PS3, PS4. I love how they advertised it as though that wasn't the case. Like, come on. You didn't have to lie to us. The lie of us. Why don't we head up to that bridge and get our bearings? Yeah, that bridge right there? Oh, I tripped. Yeah, the Druckman strikes. <laughs> the Druckman strikes again. How can we make people buy this game? I got it. Let's lie to them. 
I will say the new character models are very nice. True. Too bad I play games for the gameplay and not the graphics. <laughs> imagine playing, imagine paying full price for that. That's my whole thing. People are like, oh, it's for people who've never played the game before. It's like, but they could just play the remaster for $10. Why would they play this? Like, <laughs> that's fiscally irresponsible. Oops. There's a PS4 copy on a GameStop pre-order wallet right now for 3.9. I bet you're legit, dude. Like, what's the point? I'm gonna pay. So, uh, I'm Canadian, just so you know. Um, games here are $100. AAA games are $100 after tax. I'm not kidding. $89.99 uh, times 1.13. That is what you will get Jesus. for the after tax price. It's a, it's, it's $100 and some change. Uh, for one video game. Why would I do that? <laughs> it's pretty fucking far. Or we use that. Actually, I do know one person watching who never played the games. Yeah. I talked to my aunt and she saw the first episode and really enjoyed it. That's oh, I believe there will be plenty of people who've never played the games that will watch the show. I believe that. But the guy who was here last week was saying 90% of the viewers will be people who've never played the game. Like, are you insane? <laughs> like, 90... No. <laughs> You're wrong. Let's try through here. So what's the plan? We take these guys out and steal their boat? Definitely taking their boat. It's up to them if they want to get in our way. That's a pretty big percentage to lean on. I know. Because it's, literally that means 10% of people that watch the show. If the show got a million views, right? That means that only 10% of that was people who played the game, which, like, no! <laughs> Hope he doesn't plan to die on that hill. He said he'd come back with statistics today. Uh, he hasn't shown up. I wonder why. <laughs> Not that amount, but I think it will have a wider audience. I agree, it'll have a wider audience. Literally, Justin, Austin and I were saying that those that exact thing. We believe it'll be a large chunk, but not 90%. <sighs> 124.99 for PS5 AAA recommended retail price uh, for in Australia. Oh my gosh, flexes! That's nothing to flex on, bro. Like, and this is this is why, man. This is why I don't buy video games, man. I, I just don't. I don't play video games unless I'm streaming. They're too expensive. Got I got a family to feed. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I would I would be cool with saying maybe like 60-40, the latter being people that haven't played it. Same. Like, I'd honestly, that would be my estimate if I were to make one. 90, bro. Get out of here. Yeah, from EB Games, Australian uh, version of GameStop. Wow. We used to have EB Games in Canada. They recently changed it to GameStop for some reason. I don't know why we went all American. Family to feed? Are you a daddy, Jay? Well, Justin, as you know, daddy is simply a state of mind. <laughs> Ask my fans. I've told you. I've been sent videos, right? Like, inappropriate videos from fans on YouTube. Come on. Weird, bro. Literally in my Discord. This is before you came to my Discord. Someone went, what, came in there and was like, Oh, I love you. I love you so much. Like, I'll die for you. And I'm just like... What? We've come full circle with the daddy joke. Of course. The, you're in the right place if you like... Do you like black people? <laughs> How do I advertise my channel? You like black people? <laughs> you like comedy? We've been playing Donkey Kong Country. I don't know if you're a fan of that, but we've been playing that on Mondays. I stream every Friday and Monday. I used to stream Saturdays. Maybe one day I'll bring that back when I play Cyberpunk. But, uh, we'll see. Thirsty videos from fans? Uh, yes. I, I've been sent, I literally was sent a video of a fan masturbating. It was a girl too. Um, quickly deleted that and reported her. It's disgusting, dude.
Uh, I just lolled so hard. <laughs> Jay, YouTube number 75th content creator is always featured on BT. If I... <laughs> BT, bro. If I get interviewed on BT, just be like... I will pretend so hard. I consider that assault, to be honest. It is. And, like, anytime I tell people that they're like, was she hot? It's like, dude, that's not the point. Like... Hides his king mag with Mia Harrison on the cover. For the record, yes, Jay, I'm cool with black people. <laughs> Thank God, man, you scared me for a sec, all right? Dirtiest worm, just like... I don't know, fam. Can we trust this brother? <laughs> Uh, there is no consent there. I know. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah. I was not- I was not happy about it. I'll tell you. My girlfriend wasn't happy about it either. And yes, I told her, because I felt like that was a responsible thing to do. But yeah, man. People are weird. Like, online. Like, uh, I don't know if you've heard of this uh, one YouTuber, um, his name's, uh, starts with a J, uh, Janiac Jr. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm not a fan of the whole, oh, uh-oh. Thanks for letting me reload my melee weapon. Not a fan of the whole when you're about to be seen. Just let me kill your friend over here. No biggie. Look alive. I've heard about Jay. You know those Whedon fans? <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Loud noise means someone's looking at you. I won't tell you which direction though. So you gotta rotate your camera like a maniac. Or like a geniac. Kind of have to, right? Uh, have to what? Tell, tell my girlfriend? Yeah, of course. I got loyalty, loyalty inside my DNA. Uh, tell us more about this guy. Which guy? Oh, Janiac. <laughs> like that's an unsolicited bomb. I wouldn't want going off in my house. Exactly. Uh, ugh, my emotes aren't working. What do you mean? I saw that. The star chasm. I saw it. It's either the whoa being spotted noise or the Ubisoft getting spotted expanded on screen marker. Or the, I, I will also accept, oh, the Metal Gear Solid sound. Come on, just reload, Ellie. Hang on, let me reload real quick. Everywhere I go, it's just like, okay, now fight a room full of 60 people. Like, every single time. And it's not even like... This is getting old, game. It just feels like a chore. Oh, 
Whoa, what happened there? Yeah, you saw it. Oh, you saw me. Uh oh. Someone's behind me now. Gotta kill 60 people. Forgot. My bad. My bad. Forgot there was a quota that needed to be filled. Oh. What? Did he just fly? Dodge. Come on, Ellie. How did he, like... How did he quick grab? What happened there? What was that? He, like, he, like, spawned his gun in his hand. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, this Janiac sound like he might be mildly amusing for a 10 minute video. <laughs> and Planiac. They start me back here. This game sucks. <laughs> like, it's not good game design. It, it, it's not. It's objectively bad. It's like, okay, get ready. People are shooting at you. You know what you have to do? Hide and shoot. Hide and shoot. Just hide and shoot. That is what you do. That is how you play this game. No strategy. Just hide and shoot. Or if you want, if you want, you can just hide and run past them. Just, just hide. It's like, ugh. It's fine, Jay. It will make good television. Pfft, I know. It literally it might as well be a movie. Please don't tell me Jay likes those Joss camera angles and bad cuts. I uh, I like um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. That is about as much as I like from that guy. He kind of fell off after that. He's not a good director. He's a, he's a decent writer. Or at least he was. He was. Because he had a room full of writers from Mutant Enemy that would be like, Hey, Joss, uh, maybe don't write this. That was a headshot. Doesn't count, though. Last of Us 2 doesn't count. Headshots don't count in this game. Oh, thank God. That man is a magician. Headshot doesn't count. Doesn't count. Oh, come on! I, pu I pulled the trigger, but because she wasn't aiming yet, it shot after. Keep it up! You got it! What the? Wait. Well, the Avengers... Oh, you mean the movie where they spend an hour bickering on a plane? Wonderful writing, I must say. Uh... Guess I just can't see it. I think you need to refresh your page to see the emotes, Semi. Because you got the subscription while you were... Uh, while you had the chat open? I'm fairly certain that's how Twitch makes it work. Right here! Just let me stab him, just let me stab him, just let me stab him, just let me stab don't, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, just come on, come on. You, you didn't like this guy anyway, right? God. There should be one more of them. Uh oh. No! Stop! Stop! Close your bag! That was so nice of them to let me kill that guy, by the way. They had their guns aimed right at me and they just they just let it happen. They're like, yeah, we didn't like Chris anyway. <laughs> it must be double headshots or you have to fight the magic man. I know. It's fine, Jay. It will make good television. Uh, latest photo on my IG is an Australian content creator. I know that's why I posted it. Gotcha. That's who that guy was. Thank you. Ubisoft getting <laughs> cocked left and right. Uh, 
Yes, it was a headshot. <laughs> Don't you know that in this world, military hats have a bulletproof lining? <laughs> he wasn't wearing a hat, Phoenix. He was just his bald head. In here! Where is she? Oh, come on with this. Stop, stop, stop. Too many of you. She actually shot me while I was attacking the guy. <laughs> this is them getting shanked. <laughs> oh, they started me back up here. How generous. Oh, and they made all of them respawn. Look at that, all of our friends are here. Uh, it's the girl! Get her! <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. This was a bad start. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's why they call me Twinkle Toes. Shot me in my toe. <laughs> Yay, all 60 are back. <laughs> I hate this game so much, dude. Oh, this game is the definition of not fun. I don't hate it, but like, it, it's... Oh my gosh, it worked. I guess he, he forgot his bulletproof hat that time. animation bro Push in Don't let her escape Really? That didn't kill? I got her! I got her! Stop appearing behind me, bro. Oh my gosh! <sighs> but how much ammo do you have? Jay, it's, it's through clenched teeth that you say we're having fun. I know. It's a bulletproof fake bald <laughs> helmet. Duh. Of course. Jay, aren't you happy about how fast the combat is? Sure, the first headshot to a bald head doesn't kill uh, with a revolver, but it's not slow. <laughs> Sorry to raid and run. I'm going to go uh, wind down post stream and chill with my kiddo. Cheers, Jay and chat. Thank you so much for following. Hope to see you again soon. Keep us posted about how you feel about The Last of Us TV show. Nice emotes, dude. Who shot me?
How many of these guys are there? Ah. Ah, the direction thing's messing with me. Can someone tell me what, what's, like, plot-wise what's happening right now? Zombies are zombieing. The humans are, uh, I forgot. Religiousing. Those triangles are driving, but. Wait, is there anything to... Ah, I see. Eggy. Alright. I, I need to use the bathroom, like, officially. So, give me a sec. I'll be right back. First, let me save. Which save was it? One second.
you know, one thing I will give this game credit for. Oh, feels weird with my glasses on now. Actually, hang on. At no point do I feel like, like, oh, I'm tired. You know, like, the game doesn't put me to sleep. May not always like what's going on on screen, but, you know. <laughs> there we go. What's the next story beat? Do you know? Damn it. Oh, of course. Fight people. to the next Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Give her like crazy combos with the knife. Things she'd never do in the game. Like I said, I, I want someone to make a mod for Devil May Cry 5, put Joel in it. <laughs> Have him fight the zombies from that game. a special ability tag team as a move really It's just, it's just rooms. Go to the next room, kill a bunch of people. Go to the next room, kill a bunch of people.
the next enemy. Hey man, I'm gonna lurk and record videos. Have a great rest of the stream, man. Thank you so much for being here too, Ramel. Much appreciated. Right. Ellie, Master Thief. Where's all this stuff coming from? Were they gonna throw a Molotov cocktail and just decided, ah, you know what? <laughs> Let's go easy on us. She's just a twipe. It's not like she's gonna beat us, right? There's so many of us. <laughs> so, Justin, I don't think I've ever effortlessly breaking through windows undetected. Yep. Cling! Also... She holds the knife to the window, but, like, clearly it's her arm hitting it before the bottom of the knife. Like, do we have a HD image of Ellie's knife? Is there a glass breaker at the bottom? Karate chops windows. Yeah, seriously. I am back. How are you? Okay, so do I need the boat to go here? I'm guessing I do. Yeah, okay. Austin, have you noticed how much of this game is going to a room and then shooting a bunch of people, or like killing a bunch of people? Like, so much of it is just that. And it's always like a crazy amount of people too. And also, uh, I don't think... Justin, did you ever tell me what you thought of this game? I know most people's thoughts, but I don't think you were very clear on yours. I don't like it. I know, but, like, why? Wouldn't be as bad if the pacing and story were better, like, you know, the first one. Yeah, it's killing all these because like it literally feels like oh here's 
Here's a place you are. Okay, there happens to be people here. It's so random. I like the flashback stuff, but just pacing and it's all so jumbled. Gotcha. Like, it, it literally feels random. Like, why am I killing these people? Like, and why are they here? They're here so I can have people to shoot. Like, you know what I mean? Gotta keep these posters so I can tell Joel Jr. what what posters were like. First one's tight and just it's great. This one's trying uh, to be a Tarantino film with the amount of it's juggling. The flashbacks seem to happen at random as well, where it's like, okay, Ellie finished a day of long, hard work looking for this person. Now here's a flashback to something completely unrelated. It's like, huh? Usually when you do a flashback in the middle of something, it's to allude to what the next thing that, like, is gonna happen is. It, it, it it's, ew. Oh, he's dead already. Never mind. <laughs> Someone came in and played The Last of Us in here. But did he shoot himself? Flashback seemed like something added later. Yeah, it feels like an afterthought. Dude, Jack X? An arcade cabinet of Jack X? Crazy. I like how Naughty Dog is always like, yo, we remember Jack. That was a series we created. Are you gonna make a new game? What? No, what for? <laughs> Which is embarrassing. Your best bits like you, your rushed add-on, yeah. The parts everyone enjoys, like unanimously enjoys, are the parts that are like. Oh, uh, hey, you wanted more of that? Oh, uh, well, too bad. I feel like I keep upgrading the revolver, but... Do I need a scope? I've had pretty good accuracy thus far. I hardly use the shotgun. I don't even know what to upgrade, because, like... All I, if, you know, if the game let me play the game, all I would upgrade it, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. What I would uh, probably upgrade is just ammo capacity, but only some guns can do that for some reason. How do I, uh... Craft explosive arrows. No, it's okay. Aim stability increased. No, it's okay. Endure. Otherwise, lethal damage will instead leave you... Oh. Craft silencer. Listen mode. Enemies seen in listen mode show on sharper clarity. Ugh. None of these are helpful. Gosh, game.
Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the game just because of the Joel death, but I think it's fine to kill Joel just why do it so early. I, yeah, my thoughts exactly. If you're gonna do something like that, do it at the halfway point. Remind players who Joel is. Remind them why they like him. Maybe even, like, don't make him perfect, but show them different things, and it's just like, eh. Yeah, we should have had time to fall back in love with Joel, the character, so it hurts more. Uh, the stakes never got as high as they could have been because it just happened. The stakes in this game also just don't feel high at all. Like, there's nothing... Nothing feels personal in this. Nothing. Like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Like, really immerse myself in Ellie's story, but... I don't know. Oh, shit. It's all these new characters I know nothing about. Like, here's Jesse. Here's why you should care. Here's Dina. Here's why you should care. It's just like, oh. And then the few times they're actually there with you in gameplay, it's like, okay, I'm helping you right now. Okay, I'm done. Bye. Like, it's like, okay. There's no moment where we... There's no in-game moment where we see them develop or like... Because they're just already friends. So it's just like, okay, there's some facts you just have to accept. It's like, okay, but remember, imagine if Joel and Ellie were just friends already. Is this a boss fight? Really, game? Really, game? I also don't like how hard this game tries to retcon Joel into being this bad guy, like, I'm sorry, the Firefly Doctors were reckless okay. and working out of a disgusting operating room, but suddenly well. in the second game flashbacks at the opening, it's pristine. Joel wasn't a saint at all either. Uh, no, but he's not, like, hating levels of doing things wrong. Yeah, like, I get what you mean. It, it, it's weird. It's weird trying to vilify him in that way. Not defending this game, it's sloppy, but I've seen so many people being like, Joel was a great man, and like, no, he tried to do 
uh, right, but he got it wrong sometimes, even in the first game. That said, yeah, this game's poorly written. It, it's frustrating how bad this game is, <laughs> like, as far as the writing goes. And then, like, even mechanically it's good, but then there's hardly any moments to use those mechanics. And when it does happen, because of how, like, you can just kind of cheese your way through most things, it's like, well, then what's the point of these new mechanics? Uh, exactly, it had so much potential. It makes me upset. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, you're just resorting to running around in circles and, like, oh, this game. Like, it's more optimal to play exactly the same way as the first game. Stealth is a newer option. Like, it, it's easier to be stealthy in this, but it's slower and more time-consuming. Because the AI is smarter, so now it's like, oh, okay. Zombies just are a backdrop thing of this game. Yeah, that too. Like, oh, a bloater's here. And then you just kill it. <laughs> anyway, back to killing humans. Like, you, you know? Almost there. I wonder what they'll stop me to do again, like this time. Hey Jay, do you get the money from your merch shop? Yes, I do. Though I made an agreement uh, with Marcus. Any merch that's bought with the Junior and Marcus logo goes straight to him. But all the other merch goes to my pocket. Alright, I worked long and hard on that. <laughs> Buy something. Buying a shirt, nice, thanks. No, it goes all to me. Justin, bro, broski, broski, chill, chill. <laughs> Hang 10, dude! <laughs> it's Cowabunga time with Ellie! Thank you, by the way, Samaya. And also, uh... Orphan Black, my DVD should have arrived today. Cowabunga, dude. Mansion, how you doing? What's up, my friendo? How, how are you? It's ordered. Thank you. What color did you get? Genuinely curious. Surprisingly, the most popular color ordered currently is gray, purple, and green. Those are the three most, most popular. Also, the stream is sponsored by Base Ranger. Yes, indeed. My base is right behind me, behind the green screen. So you've only seen episode one? Yes, I've only seen episode one. one. And I bought the DVD because I was like... I can tell this is a show I would like. Since I'm the mean girl stan, anything that's pink goes uh, to me financially. <laughs> Not a lot of pink sales, but hey man, you know what? Number one mod. Okay, Justin, no, Austin, sorry, not Austin, not Justin. Austin, you weren't here. Jordan Fringe publicly declared that Justin is the worst mod. I, I, I can't believe you weren't here for that. <laughs> they started arguing about Loki, and J Jordan flat out just, just, you know what? <laughs> you know what, Janiac? Justin is your worst mod. <laughs> Marcus and I were dying, bro. Austin, you missed a lot. <laughs> the fringe called out Justin. Jordan Winge. <laughs> Winge sounds like he's winning, Justin. You're not supposed to be on his side. <laughs> oh. Got the black uh, not fade away. Oh. Thank you, Semi. Okay. Thank you. I love that one. Uh, that was designed by Danny. Um, exclamation mark D A N N Y. Damn it. But yeah, gang, I made a new song for Black History Month. Um, I don't like how I sound on it. My vocals, I'm really upset with my vocals on it. Um, so I have to re record stuff. And I don't like doing that, because then it's like I feel like I wasted time. Um, but it sucks, because then I, I feel like. If I re-record the vocals, I still won't be happy with it, and then I'll put out a product that I'm not happy with, 
you know, right after Acrylic River, which was a success. And people are gonna be like, oh, he only had a, he only had one good song. Like that that's at the back of my head right now. Your title should have been uh, Crave Presents. Crave Presents. The Last of Us. Whinge means to cry, though. Oh, whinge, gotcha. I'm so used to the awful puns online that I didn't realize you were saying an actual word, Justin. <laughs> my bad. Ugh. Oh, I love Not Fade Away as a title so much. Dude, you know that? I, I'm sure you already know. That's the last uh, episode of Angel. It's called Not Fade Away. And, dude, I freaking love that as the final title. Like, what's the last episode of Buffy called? Semi-adorable? Waniac. W-A-N-I-A-C? Waniac? Chosen. Right, Chosen. First episode is Welcome to the Hellmouth, or Welcome to Hellmouth. And then the first episode of Angel is City of. City of, not Fade Away. Welcome to Hellmouth, Chosen. <laughs> Real question, when you record a vocal, did you usually have a piano vo vocal line playing in the back as well? No. Muffy the Buffy Buff Vampire. Uh, my mom is mad I didn't buy her one. Aw, thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate it. Just re-release Ripe Livid. I want to do a full version of Ripe Livid, like, like a full instrumental version of that song. I, I will one day, Austin. But I will not rest until this song sounds good to me, because I hate putting out songs I'm not happy with. I like Arson's name for it. Buffy, Biffy the Vimpy Slimpy. Also, Se Semi, I don't know if you noticed, Arson's been watching Buffy and he likes it so far. He actually said he likes Teacher's Pet. Were you there for that? You know he's gonna like this show. I can tell already. Please do, man. That's one of my favorites. It's very underrated. I, dude, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that should get a, a full version one day. For me, when me record, me has to have a piano vocal line because me sucks at keeping in key. Ah, I see. What is all this stuff? My problem, you know what it is? I'm only able to record vocals in the morning with my producer because that's the only time he's free. My voice is not good once I've just woken up. So I have to wake up extra early to get my voice, like, adjusted to talking. And then I have to record, but then because I'm tired, my voice gets strained. And it's like, it's just the worst combination of things. That means he will definitely like it. Exactly, if he's liking season one episodes, including the worst episode of season one. I'll buy her one soon. She wants the one with the helmet. Nice. Thank you. Again, tell tell your mom I say thank you. Guys, if I ever make it somewhere in life, somewhere big, somewhere lavish, you know I'll shout you guys out. Be like, yo, this one's for the real ones. Austin drinks Fanta. Justin Ritchie. Semi-adorable. Mansion. Wingman Power Circle. Lady Soja. It's gonna. It's, this, this one's for the real ones. Igor. I don't take fall damage. <laughs> uh, what's the name of the girl Giles falls for? Arson's gonna be down bad. Uh. Olivia? Oh wait, uh, Jenny Calendar. You, you mean Jenny Calendar, don't you? Lines the throat. Have you ever tried a spoonful of honey? I used to do that before going on stage to sing. A spoonful of honey. I'll try that next time. You know what? I've been doing ginger beer. And that does clear your throat, but it also, like... <laughs> Probably not the best thing to be drinking before, before singing. Thank you though, Samai, I'll try that. And I want my cut from the mansion. <laughs> All of you will get one penny Jamaican. <laughs> one Jamaican penny. Uh, Jenny, yeah, Jenny Calendar, oh yeah, dude. Arson's gonna love her. 
It's funny, I mentioned when he was saying like hot teachers, I, I put Giles and he's like, I said teacher, not librarian. And I'm like, hmm. But Jenny is a teacher, right? Of course you picked the one only in a few episodes, Olivia. It's because, look, look. Semi, Semi, she's black, okay? There's no black people in Buffy. So when I, when I, when someone mentions something that might be alluding to a black character in Buffy, I'm like, oh, you mean that, that one black character? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna name all the black people in Buffy. Are you ready? All right, uh, there's the guidance counselor. Um, Olivia, there's Forrest, there's, uh, um, Principal Wood, and there's Kendra. There you go. Oh, oh, and Mr. Trick. Yeah, Robin Wood, yeah. Principal Wood. There you go, I've named all of them. Bro, Giles is hot. I don't care. Dude, I so I told you I've been rewatching Angel and Buffy with a friend, right? Dude, Giles might be my favorite character in in um in Buffy. And it's not cuz oh, Giles is hot, but like I mean, he gets points for that. But <laughs> no, but like I I genuinely think Giles is a, just a very well-written character even as cuz he's the he's the one adult in the team. God. Right? And and it's like the contrast between him and the rest of them is great. Um, now, I know uh, not everyone's a big fan of uh, the passion of the nerd. Justin, I'd recommend this if you care about, like, YouTube analysis. Um, this one guy literally does episode by episode, epi like, uh, Buffy analysis. And not everything he says do I agree with, but I love what he says about Giles and Restless. When, um, you know, uh, when it comes to singing, where all the characters, you know, are full of their insecurities and all that stuff, Giles just does it. And it's like, yeah, he's an adult. He knows who he is, so this doesn't... At no point is he afraid. And, like, in his psychological episode thing. And it's like, that's a really good point. Like, Giles is sure of himself. It's not that he's unconfident or that he doesn't know who he is. It's that he's trying to find a purpose uh, at that point in the season. And it's like, this is really good writing, man. He's really good, yeah. Uh, always liked him, but Lie to Me is what sold me on him. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you want me to say, Lie to Me? Dude, they're, dude, and everything he says? Nah, man, Buffy's a good show. Once you see him in fishnet stockings and high heels, you can't go back. Was 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 that uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Anthony Stewart Head? Really? Had to stop watching TPM because my Hulu expired and wasn't able to watch along. Aw. <laughs> yes. I remember hearing he was in that, and I'm like, no way. <laughs> Interesting dude that Anthony Stewart had. I love what he said when um, Charisma Carpenter came out about the abuse on set, where he said, like honestly, he didn't notice, and he felt he felt like he let the cast down by not noticing, because he was treated with respect. But it's he felt bad to learn that no one else was, and it's like. I like that response. He didn't just, like, oh, yeah, I was abused, too. Like, no, he was honest. It's like, I wasn't. And it's like, you know, I, I wish someone had come to me and said something. It's like, oh, that's so sad. He really is, Giles. <laughs> or, um, Semi, you might know about this. Have you ever heard James Marsters tell the story about, uh, it was him and, and, uh, Anthony Stewart had at a, uh, convention? And these two elderly women walked up to them. And it's like, oh, can you turn around? So Anthony didn't turn around. He just stood there. And then, and then James turned around. It's like, yeah, sure, no problem. And then, and then one of the women is like, okay, now, now can you bend over? <laughs> James is like, uh, sure, this is weird, but okay. <laughs> then she grabbed his butt and she said, now clench. And apparently Anthony would always bring that up to him. <laughs> like, hey, 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 now clench. Like, it's a... When he's ready to play Spike, he'd just be like, Alright, now clench. <laughs> oh, man. OMG, he performed that privately for Sarah on her birthday in, in the full getup. Yeah, he's so sweet. Elabeo, I haven't seen that. Yeah, no, he seems like a cool dude. Seems like a cool dude. Legit. Or even, like, training James how to do the British accent. Because in, in School Hard, James's accent isn't good. You were there, ya. Yeah. <laughs> then, literally... They'd spend hours in a room just just going back and forth yeah, on how to say a line. 
Where's Abby? And that's another funny thing about like just Jackson? Spike's accent. A lot of British people will tell you it's not very good. Give her what she wants. Um, you guys especially when he says words like uh, patronize. Bullshit. Oh, I, mean, I haven't seen that. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty great. This part is nuts. This part is balls. What I say about sucking on the nuts, man? I really want to meet Anthony. He seems like a stand-up dude. Fucking get over here! Come here! I'm in Mortal Kombat. Point to where she is on this map, and then you. It better fucking match up. Americans can't really do British accents. Uh, what are you doing? Alexis Don't Denisov. Do it anyway. it is not worth it. Stop. In Buffy. Shut the fuck up. He does a very convincing British accent to the point, Justin, that his American accent sounds fake. Like, Point to where she is. it convinced a lot of a lot of people Fuck believed he was British, especially because like minor spoilers, he plays uh, Giles' opposite, and Giles is British. Like, like the actor is British. It depends. You guys do weird American accents too. Yeah, it it, it it happens. It's it's less common though. I find because I feel like um, British acting schools teach the American accents, where American acting schools don't teach the British one. His real accent hurts my ears. Yeah, Alexis Denisov. I, he sounds fake. It sounds like he sounds like a British man trying to speak like, like an American. Not on a big scale. Yeah, no. It it's weird. But no, man, Justin, Alexis Denisov, who plays Wesley and Buffy, like... <laughs> it's just easier for British as we watch American films and TV, but not the other way around for Americans. No, 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 but I've been told they teach the American accent. That is something you are taught in acting schools in England, but apparently in American schools, that's not a thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Hey. Oh, I feel sick after killing these people. It's all right. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I can't believe I had to... It's, right. <laughs> it's because she's pregnant. No, I understand. She's pregnant. Yeah, no, she's pregnant. She's, she's trying to kill you. She's coming, she's coming right for us. We're talking about actors, sure, but you just said Americans, and the average Brit sounds so non-specific when doing them, which, which to be fair, we do. Yeah. American accents are interesting. Where it's like some I cannot distinguish, but like like Jersey and Boston, I have a hard time distinguishing between which is which. Um, and then, but like, Atlantan is so, it like punches you in the face. <laughs> arn, arn, and arn, arn. <laughs> Probably made Ellie think of Dina. Yeah, no, I get it. I, I get what they're trying to do. <laughs> but you can't have me kill someone after mowing down people and expect me to be like, oh, well, this one was pregnant, so this is different. It's like, is it? Also, American accents, uh, there actually is less muscle moved in the mouth than most British accents, so it's easier. Yeah, Brits tend to enunciate, uh, like, pff, okay, the, the British people I've met tend to enunciate certain letters more so than uh, Canadians or Americans. Jersey, Boston, New York, Philly, very similar dialects, but very different if you are around them. I've So, like, uh, Stevie is from Boston, and only when they were like angry would that accent come out um and then i'm uh uh I forgot what stevie's friend's name was but stevie had a friend who's from jersey their accent was always on um uh, one of my exes um her sister was from jersey and uh anytime my uh, she would hang out with their sister for like extended periods of time in new jersey she'd come back with like a, a weirdly kind of jersey accent and like I've met her sister too, and, and her, her sister's Jersey accent is, is like it's like freaking Harley Quinn dude, <laughs> like like <laughs> which is funny because she's Jamaican too, so like she'd she'd have this Jersey accent, but then also use patois. It was annoying. <laughs> 
Yeah, it, it really just depends. It does. Uh, we here in the South just slur everything <laughs> together to make us sound dumb, dumb. I had nothing but a bunch of payers. <laughs> Uh, lol, yeah. <laughs> Payers. I picked some oranges. Anytime I think of a southern accent, I always think of like. With the Dodge Ram. Get more miles out of the vehicle. Like, what did you think of Tatiana's English accent? I thought it was pretty good, but, uh,. Finns is better. What's his name? Fee? Fee? Fee. Phineas? Whatever. That guy. His is better. And Semi Dorable pointed it out to me, and I'm like, yeah, his is way more convincing. I thought he was British. <laughs> Most chronically southern thing I say is y'all. Felix, that's his name. Thank you. When you say the word orange, semi-adorable, that sounds very southern. <laughs> Come see me. They got Need to get to deserve. Kentucky. Doesn't make sense how I've been to Ohio and Tennessee, but not there. Yeah, what the heck, Austin? What did you think? Uh, I read that. Yeah. Is that okay? It has to be. I thought it was passable, but she does get better slightly throughout. Interesting. I'm not looking forward to going through that no. again. What you should be worried about is what Maria's going to do to you when we get home. What I think is funny is she bangs the guy, and then he's like, where was that accent? You've been hiding that accent this whole time? If I was with a girl for years, and all of a sudden she starts using a British accent, I'd be asking a lot more questions. <laughs> it's real gold. I do that a lot too. I think Let's it's because see. of our proximity to you guys. It also just seems to be common like. among black families, no matter what part of the states you're if from. Y'all, I mean. Us? Yeah, y'all's common. You find your own English does not have a plural for you. It's just you. Unlike most other languages. So y'all, technically, makes a lot of sense. You all. I've said before, like, Patwa has a plural for you. It's Unu. Fine. I recently saw, uh, we here in Pittsburgh, word, Jay, have you heard of a Soda Ale 8? What? No. Say yins. Yins. Uh, my friend's problems are my problems. A friend of mine sent me, um, it was Jamaican Lion King. You're such a sap. And you know how Rafiki says, Hassan de Sada squash banana? Instead he said, uh, don't be surprised if Mia Yafada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Stand up. Dead kid. Hands in the air, I shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck up. Fuck. All I forgot right. how big Abby Stop. is. Stop. Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon! here in Kentucky. I need to send your Kentucky team to care package. Yes, please. I don't know why you killed Joel. It's derived from you ones. He did what he did to Yins. save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. Abby Strong. We my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Watch her matrix this bullet. Are we gonna do a flashback now? Dad? We interrupt this Dad? exciting part of the game to bring you Bull! Dad! Come on. Nice job, game. Nice job, game. Just when I started showing interest. Abby, mad. Dad? Urgh. We have awesome bourbon chocolates. You know, I don't like chocolate. Actually, that's not true, I do. But, uh, can you give me some vanilla ice cream? 
Not ice cream, uh, cake. In the words of Jurassic Park, shoot her. <laughs> Uh, but the way we use it grammatically wouldn't hint that. Yins want some pizza for dinner? <laughs> Who's Yins? <laughs> yeah, bro is Abby. Dad, come on! This is what I mean by I about pacing. This. You just killed one of her friends and just bam, four years earlier. Yeah, it's like, come on. Dad! It'd be funny if like... So we cut to a flashback, right? Where are you? And then we cut back to present day and Abby's just standing there. And Ellie's like, Tommy's like, <laughs> that they like slowly walk away. She's having a flashback in person. Okay, so try and make her trip and break her neck and erase the second game from the timeline. Well, that's the thing. If they even kill me in this, th that's ridiculous because I can't die. This is a flashback. This is why you don't do flashbacks, darling. Fun fact, Justin, most of the flashbacks in Buffy and Angel are in dreams. And what's really cool about that is that you, sometimes the flashbacks are characters traveling through the other character's memory. So they witness things for themselves the first time along with the audience and they learn something about that character. And I'm like, yo, Buffy even did flashbacks properly, bro. See, the thing we are most known for is alcohol, and you have no use for that. Yeah, not a drinker. Perhaps my YouTube channel would do better if I was known as a drinker. In this flashback, we learn important info, like Abby was small, now she big. <laughs> I'd be strong. I strong. I very strong. You can tell by my ponytail. Okay. You can tell by my ponytail. My name is Abby. Simulation 4.0. Abby Smash. <laughs> Smooth. Apparently, Abby gets smashed in this game. See, they have Abby do it uh, doggy style, but let's be real here. She'd do it Amazon style. Look that up. <laughs> you, uh, you got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. So you hey, once I turn 21, I'm trying Kentucky right bourbon. <laughs> Get some you from know, Buffalo Trace. It's my hometown's like distillery. Oh, snap. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. Smash in both ways of These the words. These are safe. <laughs> Dad. Abs. She's been hanging out right on the other side of those Her name's trees. Abs. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her and then, and then we'll head back. Honestly, we're saying how I want to visit I the promise. States. I haven't yet. Kentucky will probably be high on my list. Let's just uh, make it quick. We'll do. See? I've got my little girl. Come to Canada, see. Austin, and then I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll hang out, bro. I'll, I'll make it a special day. How do you know I was here? And then I'll, and then I'll completely oh, bail on you for all the other days you're here. <laughs> Jay? Jay, where are you? And then I'm streaming, and then you show up, it's like, oh, hey, Austin, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. Same with you, Sammy. Hey. You're more than welcome. You too, Justin. We can, we can go to a VIP theater here. Have you ever been to those? Do they have those where you are? You can keep it. If you I know you like movies. Anything like this again. <laughs> Can I just say, yeah. yo, what VOD was it? What VOD was it where we were talking about going to a live screening of Avatar where it's like <laughs> you have blue people climbing down from... <laughs> Why don't I believe you? <laughs> no reason I could think of. <laughs> the theater starts racing with water. Like, ah! <laughs> Dad. Relax. You'll be back with Owen before you know it. <laughs> Craziest movie <laughs> experience. Just, no, oh, that was so funny. 5D Avatar. Oh, God. And you can smell everything, too. They, they show, like, alien cow poo, and it's like, oh, stop. I see things. 
Like the way you both try really, really hard not to. Really you have to be able to swim to watch this. Movie. It's very cute. I can't handle it. Ugh. Like ticket sales are, are are plummeting, so they have to. They really gotta try. You're like underwater, looking up. Your eyes are going bleach red. Oh, scuba gear under the seats. But they don't tell you. You have to figure that out. It's like, oh, another kid died. I told you this movie was R-rated. So you're taking advantage of him. Me? Never. I need to have money first. Hello, Elameo. I'm poor. Aw. It's all that Janiac merch you purchased. No, I'm playing. I remember Marcus and I were writing a script to a Janiac Jr. merchandise commercial. And one of the jokes was Kyle, he's wearing the merchandise and he's like, yeah, you know, before I bought Janiac Jr. merch, you know, I lost my job, I lost my girlfriend, I, I lost my house, everything just was going terrible for me. Now I have Janiac merch and, you know, still don't have a girlfriend, but I got my job back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe sooner or later I'll get a house. It's like completely unrelated. Uh, Dad, I found something. Oh, oh my God. She already gave birth. It's now 1.9 billion more than uh, No Way Home. It's the sixth highest grossing film of all time. Darn it, I hate Dad? when I'm wrong. It's not because I'm wrong, but because, man, this is one thing I would have liked to have not been wrong about. Hotels are stupid expensive. Yeah, they are. They actually are. And in Canada, everything's twice as expensive here. All right, I know they say everything's bigger in the South, but nah, fam. Prices sure as heck ain't. Pat, wait, what if they're infected around? This area I just told you, but you refuse to you listen. Know I know. I know, Justin. I'm sorry, okay? I should never doubt you when it comes to movies. I've learned my lesson, okay? You know your stuff. You know that James Cameron's name alone will allow that movie to do better than it deserves. You're completely right. It's making bank. It really is. It really is. And Jordan even said the same thing. Never, never, never bet against James Cameron. It's like, you're right. You're right. Gotta cut her loose. I noticed. Eh. It's okay, bank and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna hurt you. Why? Can you tell- Why, Justin? Why? Damn it. It's really in there. I'll sleep in my car at this point. Absolutely. You're gonna drive to Canada? Are you insane? <laughs> I'm gonna hold her. Okay. Look how good Abby's dad was. Sure, be a shame if he died. Over here, Owen. What? His audience is loving tasting. James Cameron. We need you back up, Owen. Hold her. Come on. It's about eight hours. Florida's fourteen. Oof. Yo, it's Marty. Get in there, Abs. Quickly, someone slapped him across the face. I have family in Florida. Do you drive there? Holy fuck. Everybody's looking for you. We gotta. Hey, wait! Dad! What's going on? Come on! Time to hold forward. Oh, or not. This is what video games are today. We did good back there. Doc, that girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking about. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. I'm strategic. Drive halfway, sleep in hotel, finish in the morning. Be. They're already running tests on her, but I thought you said hotels were expensive. You gotta go down there. <laughs> so Canada's only eight hours from you? How long is it from like by flight? Come on. Did I tell you guys I picked up Hannah at the Canadian airport and it took us an hour to find each other? Because the Canadian airport is insane. It's intertwined with the brain. There's no other option. What are we doing? <laughs> Ugh. A child, not some petri dish. You think I don't? I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? 
No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? <laughs> Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all I don't know, I can't find a flight. I've never looked for one before this. All of that. There. Is justified with this one act. Canadian flight, bro. It's kind of troublesome. This no other fire. option yet, so it doesn't work. It kills her, and you have no oh, other leads. Do. He is a moron. <laughs> <laughs> it confuses me. Abby. No, can Canadian flight is confusing, Canada. Samaya. It's not just you. Thank you, sweetheart. I really like Marlene in the show. Oh, <laughs> The Last of Us? I'm like, they made a Final Fantasy VII show? Marlene? <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna go tell Joel. As Why? a consolation prize, maybe... He traveled across maybe the we'll make Sarah Black in the, in the show or something. Right it's like... Did you really just say that to me? Good luck with your surgery. All right. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah. Look how great her father was. If it was me, I'd want you to do the surgery. Come back to the present. Do you feel bad for me now, player? Marlene in the show is Marlene from the game, so. Do I get to play now? Oh, over the shoulder shot, that means gameplay. Same actress, did not even recap. It's the exact same actress? That's cool. I love when stuff like that happens. So much for not playing the games, huh? Don't play the games, guys. We want to make it our own. Uh, but I'm going to recast. Uh, I'm just going to keep Marley. Marley in the same. No! Don't look. Dad! Dad! No! No! Who did this? Some raving lunatic, he kept just saying, Eggy, let's go, we gotta get out of here. Oh my god, Eggy, look at these bullets fly. <laughs> see, the, see the inverse that it's just Boomer Joel? Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop. Wait, did I kill your dad? Oh, to me, it was, it was just Tuesday. How many Joels did she kill that day? Hi, my name's Joel. Uh, this is my brother Tommy. What are you doing? Man, clean you up. No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky. There's a six pack of beer on the ground and a torn American flag. Joel's been here. <laughs> What do you mean, torn American flag? No, 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 no. It'd be propped up <laughs> and flowing. There's no wind, but it keeps going. It hits the scene. Like I told you to. Move. Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up. Calm down. Darn it. You shoot me? Stop. Trigger discipline, bro. We're done. I am the leader. You answer to me now. Seattle. Day one. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Is this how this game's gonna do this? Easy. Should I? Oh. You okay, Yeah, just. 
I thought Abby's gameplay was going to take place What's after it? the confrontation These with Ellie, everywhere. but no. Everything is a flashback in this game. Being called up. I said once this the A lot of people said Abby looks like a man. Are you serious? Why? Because so. she has muscles? We should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. Okay. Basically. My shirt's glitching. I mean... Fuck my neck. Hey, Her arms me. are incredibly large. Yeah, it, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah, the weather chick. She's down from the mountain. Oh, the scientist. Nice. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm too excited about her job. Thought my ear off. <laughs> there is reason this game was was let down Worth for me. Uh, what Absolutely. what's the, was it because she looks like a man? <laughs> wait wait what? Should. Abby should be the next Terminator. Never gonna do better than her. Be better than the Terminator and Terminator I'm Three. The same thing. And yet here we are. The next Terminator is just a person. From her frame in the bat in the flashback, it does it doesn't feel plausible. Uh, her frame? What do you mean? I'd want to be that buff in an apocalypse too. Were people really mad about her character design? She is pretty huge though. Like like. You think she used steroids or like? What what does what she bench press? I want to just punch things, just like punch through the glass. Hey, I was thinking about a nickname for myself. Uh, punch, punch chick. Yeah, you can be, uh, you can be, um, uh, Captain Churro. That's not a race thing or anything. Just, uh, just thought it was a cool name. Those are just good desserts. <laughs> Whoa, kids? Yeah, I want to go to school. Hello, Manny. Hey, get look. Hey, uh, whoa. Hey. Her too. A gentleman never tells. <laughs> wow. Getting real tired of the segregation. I want to go to school too. What's the matter, huh? Am I not allowed to be educated? What's going on here? Like, why even maintain that in an apocalypse? The zombies aren't going to be hand uh, to handing you, and the humans will have guns. Uh, well, okay. Cardio is important. Weightlifting is important, too, because you have to move things, Justin. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> and also, quite often, they're lifting other people and bringing them to places. Or even like, hey, give me a boost. That's why you'd want to be muscular. That would matter. And cardio would matter so you can run. Your muscles would matter. They would matter. How often are you dragging things across the floor in these games? Like, it, it does matter. You need to be strong. That, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, shit, Jordan. I didn't see you there. You coming with us to the show? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> remember? <laughs> Jordan, didn't you see you there? Wait. Remember Mucha Lucha? <laughs> We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Can you fucking believe after everything we're Is he playing back? a Vita too? You don't know that's what it is. Ellie and Joel ain't ripped and they are doing fine because it's a video game, Justin. There's Do you really that. think Ellie would be able to move half the things she moves? Run. Do you really <laughs> think Ellie would be able to everything like literally done. push a garbage container with no wheels at the bottom? Do you really think Ellie <laughs> someone with that physique could do that? No. But Abby could. I don't want to talk to these people. <laughs> Not Ellie, but Joel. Joel could do it. What are they serving today? Burritos. He may not be yeah. this jacked, but he's, he's a pretty big dude. Joel has daddy old man strength. He's the best kind of strength. He also lost his daughter. You know that, like, is plus ten strength, right, Justin? We're going to the front. Come on. Is is this really what we're doing right now? Why do you have three? Pull one back. No, don't freak out. Mel's coming with us. Manny? In real life, muscle does not Where's equate strength. That's really? true, but you if you are working me? your core, because you I will develop muscles. Bullshit. Just naturally. Like, does sure, we have different body strength? types, like... She does. 
it's everyone does, bit. but yeah. perhaps Abby's body Why type is just like this. Like but I mean, like it, it is, it is quite large. Am like I her bi, her uh, her biceps. It, it's like insane. It's like the size of her head. <laughs> Plus, is adamantium skeleton since he is you, Jack? <laughs> Gotta get those carbs. That's the cannon now. I think you Joel's made of adamantium. No, it's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen. Of course not. You guys need to talk about it. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. He's not Wolverine. He is an Australian actor this this <laughs> entire time. She kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joel. Don't forget, we are grunts. She's a medic. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it for me, okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking. Is she gonna litter? Where did? Where did she put the wrapper? I wonder how distracting it will be having the original Joel and Ellie actors yeah. in the new show. Hopefully yeah, they do accents uh, not right. to distract. Uh, what? Oh, you mean like Troy Baker and... Um, Haley? H Heidi? What, what's Ellie's voice actress's name? Look at bra. Scientist, huh? Ugh. Huh. Scientist? This is a woman's garment. <laughs> like, what, what does she mean by that? Ashley Johnson have minor roles. Right, right. I'll do it later. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. I am ready to roll. Oh, Ashley Johnson's gonna be in the new Last of Us? Yep. Hi. So Johnson's hey. playing Ellie's Actually mother, but that must duty. be really minor. Hi. I guess so. You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. No one's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Do better. Troy Baker, I think, is a firefly or in a gang or something. I see. It'd be funny if he did the Joel voice and then Joel's like, Are you mocking me? <laughs> well, you think talking like this is funny? What are you getting called up for? It's just the usual rotation, don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? He seems, uh, I don't know, worse? Worse how? Just two Always unrelated characters that sound identical. Twist. Yeah, just do it. He can barely hold his spoon. Maybe we can get him some she, She's a 34-year-old mother, but she sounds like Ellie. Heard they moved you and Owen to Section 96? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's lots of young families. Hey kids, do you like holding forward? Getting you guys excited about the baby? Troy will be Same fine, but hearing like, Ashley Johnson yeah, will be I'm absolutely jarring. <laughs> Have to sound like a mother, Ashley. Joel, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Let's drive always crazy. Uh, like Nolan North's cameo in Uncharted of, hey, something like that happened to me once. <laughs> Was that really what they did? Yikes. Sucks for him. Yeah. This is what video games are today, ladies and gents. Thousand peeps. Mm. Signing out, Alice? She's playing inside. Great. Dolan North technically hey, plays Nathan God. Drake in the film. Wait, what? <laughs> you crazy dog. This is very, canon? Very girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Hey, uh, you want to go to the trucks? Let's go to the trucks. 
Oh, hey there, Fair. Yeah, okay, since you asked so nicely. Get the ball. Go get it. Yeah, he said something along the lines of this happened to me once. That's <laughs> so ridiculous. I can't throw it at the dog. They thought of that. I'm, I'm assuming I can throw the ball over the boundaries, right? Give me the ball. Did I see you with Jen last night? Yes, you did. Big dirty dog. What's she doing in town? Something for Isaac? It's gotta be a lonely job. She really likes it. Ask her about the Kumulus Club. Kill the dog just to give another reason well, to I hate guess you her. Get to stay away from the combat. The game won't yeah, let me. That's what you're into. I'd be happy staying put, I think. Just The game problems. won't let me game. He's fucking up scars. I don't think so. I'd go crazy. Yeah. Also, who do you get to play Abby in a live action The Last of Us? Hey, Pat. Hey. Hey, Pat. Can I have my usual? You got it. Gracias. Which trucks are in? Take S24. I'm driving. Sign us out. Thanks. May your survival be long. May your death be swift. I could use a warm up. Down for some friendly competition? The loser cleans the apartment. Mm, high stakes. Best score on a full magazine? You're on, cabron. Do you remember how to play the game? Requesting that gun next time. Yeah, the gun. Last of Us Three is a prequel to the flashback, and it's the Abby Adventures oh, of how she got her. There is a huge pile of dirty dishes. <laughs> They're cruel. There's gonna be something Ooh, that, that happens to her left arm. Too. So then she starts lifting with just her left arm, and then something happens to her right arm. So then she starts lifting with her right arm. Hey Jay, yo, what's up, Yee? How are you? How have you been? Uh, one arm really muscular. I know a thing that does that. Then like her wrist, her wrist hurts. So then she she like starts getting one of those wrist compressing things. 
She gets tennis elbows, so she starts building up her forearms. Like, just... It's every individual muscle. Hi. Hey, Austin. Yo. Had a good week. What What were you up to? Yeah, who's a girl? Oh, I missed you, too. Hi, Sarah. How are you? What's new, Yee? Tell us about your week. Ollie's got shotgun. Mel's pregnant. She could use the fresh air. Give you two a chance to talk. Well, sorry, man. Like, what else fills the time in an apocalypse? Lots of mace to do? Yes, yes. <laughs> Lots of... You've been sleeping these days. Remember when this game had zombies? Not great. <laughs> Just work and such, but I got a lot of projects done, and my manager Maybe told me I'm going. Pharmacy. I'm doing a great job. That's yeah, really good. I'm good. What's your? It's not a big deal. What do you, what no, do, you do again? Are fine. you an artist? I'm just gonna wear myself out. I've been picking up a few extra assignments. You and the one. What do you mean? Zombies? This is a lesbian drama. What do you mean? <laughs> I work at financial crimes for a bank. Whoa! That's intense. Huh. So like what do you what do you do like in that job? What is what does that entail? Educate me. I've I've you plan on getting it back? It's probably the second time I've heard of this. Nah, Isaac says it's Lady Soja. Right financial crimes. She she works in financial crimes for the bank. She's a robber. <laughs> well, minus the drama, they're quite boring. <laughs> I know. Keeps picking up open assignments. You know what did this better? Life is strange. No, we're still not. I mean, I I've seen him in the mess hall, but financial Love crimes. I I'm reading between the lines. <laughs> It's like, I'm a sanitary supervisor. No, I wouldn't you mean a janitor? <laughs> oh, shit! Ambush! Hang on! No, stay low! Kill the wall! Wait. Not even, lol. That would be interesting. This game couldn't be more bare bones with the gayness if they tried, right? They were waiting it's like, for kinda there. Yeah. Let's go! What, what do you think we're doing? Ah. All these headshots. You just keep coming. These guys are bulletproof. They're monk robes. Um, aim? You okay? The steering wheel's on fire. Did you see that glitch? Fucking scars. How far away from the fog? Ugh, the problem not they are gay, the problem is they are boring. Oh, well clearly. Right now I'm, I'm rotating on things, but I do AML, anti-money laundering, and I also do surveillance to look out for insider trading type stuff. Interesting. What's the most crazy thing that's happened to you on this job? Randomly wishes he had this kind of luck with headshots. Make sure this place Real. Is secure. He's out here doing espionage stuff. I do surveillance. Yes. She's hanging on ceilings. <laughs> Looking down. People, oh, yeah. while they're logging into their computers. Then when they walk out of the room, she jumps down and logs back in. God, that's an awful joke. <laughs> what? 
Lots of places to hide in here. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do to those scars, guys? <laughs> With a right hook and a left hook and a right hook. When they start walking at me, I'll be like, bow! Bow! Just like that, just like that. Abby, you have guns. <laughs> You're right, these guns. Bow! Bow! <laughs> Oh, come on. Woo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo. Woo. Oh, I'm so strong, look at me. Woman power. Did you see me? Did you see me destroy them? Did you see me bathe them in their own blood? Spider-Man, I know. Open your mind, Austin. That's what they did to Brandon, too. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, nothing too bad, but we did catch someone uh, taking bribes while listening to their calls. Ooh. Most of, the, most of the stuff is like suspicious activity, so it's very gray area. And after I investigate something that seems off, it gets up the ladder and then reported to the government and they take over. We just freeze their accounts and or don't let the transactions go through depending on what it is. I see. You know, you know, funny, Sarah, this is how I know you're you're way too pure for these streams. Anyone else would have just made a story up. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one time, oh man, I was looking through this guy's account. It was all blood money. Like, he, he was out here stealing babies and selling them on the black market and and crazy, right? But we stopped him. You know, I, I, I found his address and I went there personally. And I, I had to I had to be sneaky though. <laughs> Which I had crazy stories maybe one day. I had to be sneaky. So I not only took him out really quickly with my fist, but I, I saved the baby too. <laughs> Is this mirror's edge? Save the baby, then use the money to put it through college. They named it after me in honor. Yeah. See, Lady Soda, you've got it. Also, Yiki, have you ever played this game? Really cool, Yeah, it is. You got this, guys. Teamwork, 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 teamwork. Woo! Teamwork. Yeah. This is so cinematic. Man, I wish I had a video camera. Even my guns are strong. But I also do less interesting work, like looking at new regulations and laws and seeing if they apply to us and other yeah. stuff. Oh. Has anything, has anything changed recently? Also, uh, you are American, correct? Or wait, are you Canadian? Where, where are you from, Sarah? 
Uh, thanks, Lady Soja. I like it. <laughs> That's good. It's always a pleasure to hear that someone's enjoying their job. American Texas, y'all. Oh, from Texas. Well, well, howdy doody. <laughs> It's good. It's good to. It's good to see. <laughs> I know very little about Texas, other than everything's big there. If I go to Texas and the houses aren't like fifty meters tall, I'm going to be very disappointed. There are constant changes, but they're very specific things related to banking and securities that we monitor. Oh. I was going to ask if, there, if anything had changed with our banks here in Canada. Would you be able to look into that? Like, would, can you know that? Or is it only within your region that you're allowed to, like, monitor? She's the third southern lady in chat. Completes the trifecta, but Lum and Semi aren't here. We can't have all three of them at the same time, Austin. That'd just be unfair. We'd be outnumbered. OMG, lol. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's why I'm like, oh, Texas. Oh, well, scratch off your bingo card. I'm here, just quiet. Oh, I see. I know what you're doing, Semi. She's like... Two in the morning, two at night, two in the afternoon, makes you feel all right. Two in time of peace and two in time of war. Two before you smoke two and two more, <laughs> and then two more. It's telling me there's a thing here, but I don't understand. Okay, there we go. Uh, most of the stuff is U.S. related because when it comes to financial crimes, the U.S. is like the gold standard and most countries look to us for that. You guys are really good at stealing. <laughs> I remember um, Igor once told us that Brazil's so patriotic that as long as they're number one, like it's like a celebration. And Igor's like, yo, uh, Brazil's number one for highest gun-related deaths. And then Igor's like, yo, number one? Hey, yo, we're number one, y'all! <laughs> Even if it's something, like, not to be proud of. I hear the other one. Where is it? But if there are bigger changes in Canada, we monitor those because we ha we are a global bank and are in Canada. When do you predict uh, we Canucks will be able to have a currency exchange rate that isn't ridiculous, where currently your money is way more valuable than ours? Do you think do you think that'll change? You think, you think can you do something to fix that, Yehi? Nanny, could you put in a good word to the good old government? Things are too expensive here. Yehi, you know a chicken nugget. Kids meal cost twenty dollars. Ladies first. Okay, maybe not that much, but like, it's crazy. Okay. Go ahead, ask. Ten Ladies nugget first. combo is thirteen dollars. Ehe. I like you. Please help. Send help. That's rough. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I say it all the time, man. Video games here are a hundred dollars. Shouldn't. All these plants are alive. After tax. Good point. You know what? This is good. You two need a bum Shut up. Working already. Oh. Oh, there's so much stuff. Good thing I got this hammer. Find another one? Yep. Hey, uh, I know a good drinking game. Maybe later.
Can you explain why The Last of Us Part 1 was released before 2? Uh, if you know. What do you mean? You mean after 2? So, The Last of Us Part 1 is a, like, literally just a... It's literally just a remaster of The Last of Us 1, which came out in 2013. This game came out in 2019, if memory serves correct. Or, wait, The Last of Us came out... Was it 2013? It's a remake. It, it's hardly a remake. But, yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They called it Part 1 to match up with Part... 2020 for this one. This came out during COVID? Oh, boy. People were probably like, Oh, the lockdown's happening. At least I'll be able to play my favorite game. The sequel to my favorite game. And then everyone hated it. <laughs> it's a blur. Don't blame you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's literally the same game though, Yee Just play the remaster. There's no difference. And people complained about that, because there's no re there's no difference. No, it is a remake in that it's built up from scratch. The remaster was a port and changes. Built up from scratch? Do you believe that? Do you believe that that game was built up from scratch, Justin? Do you? You know you can take the source code and change the models, right? That's a thing you can do. <laughs> They call it a remake. I'm thoroughly convinced that's not true. Haha, <laughs> those people, haha. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I remember my friend Tr uh, Trey being so excited for The Last of Us 2, because The Last of Us is his favorite game. He dressed up as Joel for Halloween, and he bought, like, a, a toy revolver that looked just like his. And then he's like, oh, dude, The Last of Us 2 is coming out, man. I'm so excited for that. And then the game came out, and I never heard him talk about it. Part of me wants to call Trey just to ask. It's been three years, but I want to ask, what do you think of The Last of Us 2? Because you never said a word. Well, parts are ported, but it's enough to be considered a remake. Cobb said ahead. I, no. <laughs> yes, you should find out. Yeah, just because... Yeah. Let's keep moving. Imagine going from like, man, I'm really excited, to just no word. God. Remember when we could pass through this area? Yee -hee. What's your favorite video game? And also, have you played this game? Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We let our like how the com uh, combat system the broke squad. because they just ported the AI from The Last of Us 2 and it doesn't work. Okay. So they ported something from the second game. And it didn't work for the assets of the first game. That's so what you're telling me is... <laughs> This isn't a remake. Kids. It's, not their fault. it's like a recycle. Those deaths are on a retread. There needs to be a new name for th that game. A new classification for what that game is. You can make pipe Not bombs final make. Oh wait, no, I don't want to. Very quiet out here. Overall, probably Keep Minecraft, no lol. But I also like Assassin's Creed games and 2K Madden. 2K and Madden? You're a Madden fan? I've never met anyone who's played Madden. What do you think of the games? Like, like what? Which one would you recommend? No, I have not. Oh, yes. Madden. I'm surprised they're still naming them after uh, John Madden. I don't disagree, but yeah, it's still a remake. No, no, Justin, stop, no. Don't feed into the lies, my dude. I'm the sucker that buys the new Madden the every year, only for it to be basically the same. Ah, I see. And you were telling me earlier about uh, criminal tax fraud or something? Nope. You were talking to me about <laughs> financial crimes? It's a crime they keep releasing the same game every year. Come on, Yehi. Come on. You're supposed to be... You're supposed to bring balance to finances, not leave them in darkness. I was listening into Yee's conversation. She was like, "Yeah, EA, I'll buy the next Madden. Just, <laughs> see what's up there. just make it a little more colorful." Which one's the best one? They changed the controls. It's it's a whole new game. Nah, nah, they didn't change Jack. Cable's got on something. Have you played it, Justin? Have you have you played it? Here 
go? To be honest, I have no clue. Really. Mel, stay with Alice. I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Cool. Be careful. 2016. Now they've all felt the same. Uh, no, I was meaning that for Madden. Oh, gotcha. They changed the controls. It's a whole new game. Madden. Well. Still no sign of scars. Maybe they gave up. You're funny. No, I'm optimistic. Whoa, he like dodged into the bullet. <laughs> he now has a scar. <laughs> New character. <laughs> one Madden had a decent story mode. I think it was 18, so maybe that one. Campaign modes in sports games are always interesting. Have you ever seen um, uh, oh. NBA 2K, I don't know what, yeah. had uh, yeah, it is. like Shaquille O'Neal breaks into your house and there's a really funny cutscene of that. Where it's like, oh, Shaquille O'Neal, you broke into my house. Like, okay, first things first. I didn't break anything. Do you see anything broken? <laughs> like, learn your laws, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh, gee, I didn't play that one, actually. No, it, it's it's like the only thing I remember. Because I, I don't play sports games, We're but in. my friends told me, no, you have to see the scene, and it actually is pretty funny. <laughs> Do you see anything broken? Your windows are fine. <laughs> okay, I didn't break in. Your girlfriend let me in. <laughs> and it's like, uh, all right, all right. Then he's like, uh, the face of the man with the face is the face into the face of the defeating of the face. And it's just like, huh? And it's like, don't worry about that. That's not important right now. <laughs> like, it's just so random. And he's like, every time, every time you make a step on the, the court, I hear a barbecue chicken alert. It's like, what? Enter that word of the world of thy barbecue chicken. It's like, huh? Like, it's, it's just, it's okay, so random. Quick. They both haven't been good for for a few years. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, it's great. Yeah, sure. Shaquille O'Neal breaking into your house. We're here. Love Shaq. Love Shaq. Baby love Shaq. Whoa. So, Yeehee, one of my favorite games is Saints Row 2. Kind of a gangster game. video game from 2008. Remember, where you are the bad guys, and you fight other bad guys, and it's so rare in video games for that to be the case. Because a lot of people like characters with gray moralities these days. But in that game, no, there's no good guys. And I always thought that was interesting. It's not that you're the heroes, you just happen to be... The player just happens to be on the side of these bad guys, and it's very unique. But anyway, um, they recently made a remake of that video game, full of gangsters that kill people. I didn't know you played bad guys in Saints Row. Yeah. Yeah, you're the you're the villains in the first two Saints Row games. And well, you're part you're a villain faction. There's no heroic ones. Uh, but like technically you're kind of heroes in the first one, but the second one you're flat out villains. But what I think is really funny is uh, they remade that game, yee hee. Guess what? <sighs> they took these hardened criminals and turned them all into uh, hipsters that want to take down um, the the patriarchy and capitalism. And it's like, weren't you gangsters trying to gain power? Like, literally, weren't you trying to be sellouts in the third game? Because you win at the end of the second one, and then you have all the money and power that you're celebrities. It's like, what? But the way, the secret ending to that game that takes about uh, 18 hours to unlock, the secret ending after you've beaten the game, it's the main character singing Love Shack. These hardened criminal gangsters. And Love Shack. Anyway. <laughs> Guess that makes sense from watching you and Marcus uh, rake up money by destruction. Yep! You've seen us play Saints Row 4. Or wait, no, you've seen us play Saints Row the reboot. That was the reboot. It is a good song, though. It is, but could you imagine selling that to fans of the original game as a secret ending that you have to work really hard for? So hard, in fact, that they patched out how difficult that was and how time-consuming it was. Because it wasn't hard, it was just time-consuming. My name was Eddie, and it was the first... Wait. Uh, Pedro Pascal is in Buffy. A lot of people are in Buffy. I told you, the writers of Daredevil um, wrote on both Buffy and Angel. Pr primarily on Angel. Um... Uh, David Fury, Stephen S. Knight, and, um, the other guy, the Drew Goddard? Yeah, they all worked on Angel, all of them. And it's like, 
kind of funny that it's like, oh yeah, and then they, they made Daredevil after that. It's like, oh, cool. My name was Eddie. It was the first episode of season four of Buffy, and I was kind of her first friend in college, where she finally meets a nice person that's in the same boat as her, and unfortunately I'm turned into a vampire by the head campus vampire, and Buffy is forced to kill her first college friend, or her first new college friend, Pedro Pascal. I vaguely remember that. This is season four of Buffy we're talking about. This is where I kind of... I watched all, the whole show, but man, season four. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Geller was very, very nice. It was one of my first jobs. I was really excited about it. She was very nice to me. She even brought me ice cream uh, from her trailer. Nice. Um... On the flip side, Anya from Buffy the Vampire Slayer shows up in WandaVision. Oh. My mother always told me my personality would open doors. Just not this one. Where... Where do I go? Okay. I'll hold it here. Go. I'll break it with Whoa. Shit, sorry. You still okay? Yeah. Crank broke. I'm so strong. <laughs> Abby, look. A hatch. Manny, just hang tight. We're gonna find a way up to the roof. Okay. So, glad you hitched a ride with Fun us. Fun fact, Sarah Michelle Geller and I have the same birthday and Maddie. first middle name. Whoa, what? I am glad I'm here with you guys. I He's Wait, and you've never watched Buffy? Yee-hee, come on. Hey, Mel. Yee-hee, yee -hee. Let me boost you up here. Yee-hee, you gotta watch Buffy. It's a great room. show. And then hey, watch Angel. Why have you been avoiding me? Angel's my favorite show ever. You? Come on, you've barely said anything to me. It's a spin-off of Buffy. I don't know. I, I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. My parents used to watch Go it, and I saw some parts that, as a right? kid. No, then I'm not saying that. Sarah, I didn't that. ask if you. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't remember asking if your parents have seen the show. Look, darling, you need to watch it. It's a good show. Here we <laughs> my middle go. name is Michelle. Go. I'm all wanted to be different and put one L. Interesting, Shell. Do you guys know what my middle name is? Have I ever mentioned that? Anything? Austin probably knows. Um, one sec. Hello, well, yee -hee. What are you It's doing? a fabulous show. Get us out of here? You're Thanks. missing out, sweetie. Go slow. <laughs> One advantage of being pregnant: low center of gravity. I'll take your word for it. Being preggers gives you agility. Remember that, kids. Well, not kids. Oh God. <laughs> oh, made it. What platform can you watch it on? Uh, you're you're American, right? Uh, try Disney Plus. Darren Janiac Bailey Jr. Come on up. Yeah, Janiac Thank is you. my middle name. I legally <laughs> made my middle name Janiac. Nah. That'd be. I should do that. How, how much would that cost? Yeah, my middle name is Janiac. Okay, getting closer to the hatch. I don't know if you saw, but on Discord I mentioned I had a dream that I had, like, a tattoo that wrapped around my arm that said Janiac. And I was like, man, I hope I don't become that self-absorbed. <laughs> but yes, yee -hee. Watch Buffy. Now I will, full disclosure, season one is full of a lot of cheese. Season two is where they really started understanding what they wanted to do with the show. Um, but give it a chance. Give it a chance, and I promise you, it'll be a show you will remember. It's been following you your whole life. Look, look, the lead actress's name, your parents used to watch it. Look, look come on. Would I lie to you? 
I know I know you're more in Amy's streams and in Marcus's streams because I, I don't really play Pokemon, but look, look, look. You can trust me, okay? Look look at me. Look look at me. Would I lie to you? <laughs> Janiac Jr., 71,000 subscribers. Popular on Spotify. I collaborated with Shiloh, okay? Do you know who Shiloh is? That's a Wikipedia page. I'm on it. Would I lie to you? <laughs> Janie, I, I Carly Tuber? No, that's Jordan. I was always the victorious guy. I'm the victorious man. Uh, nah, you're iCarly, man. iCarly, man? No. I'm Janiac Jr., and I approve this message. Janiac J. Jr., what's the J for? <laughs> okay. I did it. I did it. Uh, iCarly, you love a bit of the old ultra loud <laughs> equals funny. <laughs> loud equals funny, my dude. That is the iCarly way. So she wrote a song for Carly Rae? That's dope, yes. And we worked together. Nice. Would I lie to you? Go watch Buffy. Okay. Vertigo hitting you hard, especially when I look down. Remember this, kids, because this will be very important. Hey. Like Joss Whedon, you say? No, Manny, I never said that. Be right down. <laughs> okay. Look, Bob, sweet Bob, almost there. Bet we can cut through that rail yard. You want to get off the roof first? <laughs> Please. Kind of hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. I'm not as fearless as you think. Please. Like, I, I could never do the surgery stuff you do. Be too freaked out about fucking it up. You think I don't feel the same way? Oh, for what it's worth, my dad always said you were his best student. He did? Oh. He always said he was an idiot. <laughs> Come on. Really, I heard I like Joss Whedon. Must have been the win. <laughs> Alice. Uh, you're hearing things, man. You it's this game, man. It's getting to your head. Yeah. I don't like it. Speaking of which. Hey, Ihi. Is, is, is our girl streaming? I will delete this thing. Yes, she is. Okay, I'm going to raid Amy. I love watching horror apocalyptic games. Uh, you know, my one gripe with them is that they're all the same color. Horror and apocalypse, 
like apocalyptic games are brown, green, and gray. Just just look look this here here's the gray, here's the green, and there's the brown. The, every game, every game. Watch Scream trailer. I was ordered to. How about we watch it Monday? But keep keep a saved file of all the trailers we gotta watch. Um, so we, so we can watch them all together. Check it out, check it out, brown. Beautiful shades of brown, green, gray. Look, yeah, look at that, look, gray. What color is this filing cabinet? Oh, yo, green. <laughs> it's the same three colors every time. Can we have it set in Africa so we get, like, purple trees and crazy stuff like that, please? Something interesting. Got the cool sunset and all that. Anyway. I'm going to raid Amy. Thank you for being here. What about uh, Pedro saying, Daddy is a state of mind, that's five seconds. Uh, just bring it Monday, Justin. Save, save me a bunch of trailers and videos and everything we can look at together. <laughs> and we will take a look Monday. Bye, take care, everyone. Yeah, take care, semi-adorable. Um... Thank you all for being here. It's it's been a long stream and everyone stayed pretty much. I genu genuinely appreciate that. So I'm gonna give Amy a raid. Raid me, Amy. Thank you guys for being here. It's been an awesome stream. I couldn't have asked for a better stream today. Yeah, raiding Amy. <laughs> Later, y'all. Yeah, take care. I'm going to uh, be back Monday playing Donkey Kong Country with Marcus. Oh, I need to make an exclamation mark for that. It's not ready yet. Yeah, the Wednesday dance of the Chloe dance. Thank you so much, gang, for being here. You guys have been splendid. I hope to be with you again Monday and then Friday. It's every Friday and Monday. I'll be back with this game on Friday. You guys have been great. OMG, what? Wednesday Adams? <laughs> Wednesday dance? Yeah. I make new emotes every now and then. Monkey Kong. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to have to make it. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And as always, bye -nee.